You're welcome. For those who have watched the Keeper Part 1 to 5, either one after the other or the full movie that we uploaded on this channel as season one. You've been trying to continue, but you've not been able to get it. You see 10 here, you see 12, you see 15, haphazardly. We have come with this video to compile it for you. The video you're about to watch now is for those who have watched the part five, or even if you have even watched ahead of part five, but you don't know how the things follow because watching it the way it follows matters a lot. We have compiled the season two together, which is part six to part 10. So this video you are watching for so 5 hours 30 minutes for part 6 to part 10. After you finish watching this, you watch the season 3, which should be from part 11 to 15. By the time you watch these three full movies, you will understand the story well. Two, all this breaking of Sunday past Sunday has been reduced. Now that it has been joined together as a movie, you can use it for a movie retreat, a prayer retreat and all. So if you have watched the full movie season 1, part 1 to 5, here is season 2, part 6 to 10, and spent season 3, part 11 to 15. Three full movies, five, five hours each, making it a 15 hours gospel movie. Find time to watch it and be blessed. Don't forget, the prayer compilation is coming very soon. Thank you very much. The Joe's Baba Talent Workshop, FTU, a subsidiary of Premium Academy, comes up with the 2024-2025 Academy Session of various categories of filmmaking and purpose discovery courses. The FTW over the years has been a formidable platform built by God for the advancement of his cause here on earth. This year's edition will be offering basic, advanced, and professional diploma programs in faith-based filmmaking. Come and have a date with your maker as participants do at the powerful encounter clinics and prayer quakes. The workshop is also open to children of ages 10 and above. Hurry now and enroll for the first semester of this session. Hold it between April 6 and 14, 2024. Cost fee at the entry level, which is for basic certificate, is 30,000 Naira only. Children's cost fee is 15,000 Naira only. This covers for tuition, accommodation, and the cost pack. Food is available for sale on campus at affordable price. Venue is LaSalle College, Haribabola, Ondo City, Ondo State, Nigeria. Students can come with laptops, cameras, and other filmmaking gadgets if available for group project. For my inquiry, call 70 and 081-6847-6985. They have to W. We are not a mistake in this cosmos. You're welcome to another season of Encounter for the next 10 Sundays and the next 10 Fridays. Listen to the following prophetic instructions and be intentional about them. Number one, please do well to watch every part of every video. Do not forward any part. Every part needs to be viewed. Number two, each Friday that comes after the Sunday you are watching this video now will be a video dedicated to the issues discussed in the movie. The VG will take place between 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. Nigerian time, middle of the night. We advise you not to pray the prayers in the day. We advise you to join the VG live. We advise you not to sleep and then wake up and then join the VG. It's an instruction from God. You don't pray this kind of prayers in the day. You pray them in the night where you can begin to see effect right here and now. So please do not miss any VG online every Friday on this YouTube channel. Number three, each of the parts will begin with a three minutes worship section. Please, partake in the worship section. The worship section was an intentional instruction by the Spirit of God to open up the portal for your deliverance. Do not just keep the song and say it's getting too long. No. Partake in the worship section, sing all the songs, let your mind be lifted. You can pray in tongues as you sing while you go into the movie. This is not the normal movie you watch and say you are entertained. This is a deliverance clinic. And so please take these instructions to heart. Number four, do not forget the way of sacrifice. If you followed all the previous parts you've been watching, sacrifice against sacrifice is very key. And so listen to me. Part of the sacrifice is this. Subscribe to this channel, like this channel, and make sure you share this video. Make sure you do. Do you know why? If you are connected to a hotter 
and you are expecting to be delivered, you are expecting to be blessed, you are expecting for God to help you through this altar, you must be connected to the altar in the way you support, in terms of subscribing, liking and sharing. Many of you have this attitude of downloading the video on your phone and sending it to people. We receive calls from them all over the world, they don't know us, they don't know our channel, they don't know we have other movies that we have produced, all they want to know is about the keeper, they don't know the source. Please, if you are going to recommend this film to people, let them know the source. Let them know where they can get it. Let them know where to get it. I'm not saying you should not download, but please try and stream online first, after which you can now download. But let people who you are telling about the movie know the ministry that produced it. Let them know the source where this movie is coming out. Through that, you are growing this platform to make other people to be blessed. So if you know you normally forget those things, do them right now. Share, like, and subscribe to this channel. Recommend this channel to people. Tell them how to get here. Finally, make sure you get a jotter and a pen to jot every prayer point and every revelation that comes from this movie. For churches who want to use this movie as a premiere or want to join with the videos live in their own church videos, please let your protocol officer be strategically positioned so that people don't get to injure themselves by the manifestation of power that they emit from this film. At the same time, don't forget that sacrificial giving tied with understanding is a way to open up the presence of God to your, to your cases. And so, as you are also praying and believing God, let there be a sacrificial giving, sacrificial sowing of seed with understanding. It's not a ritual. So that you can see that all these things work together prophetically for your good. You wonder how this brother saw this movie, how the brother may get to see this movie, all the inspiration behind this movie, look at the power behind it. It didn't come by just sitting down and doing nothing, it came by sacrificial giving to understanding sacrificial giving to anointings, to, 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 to men, to tap into revelation of God's mind. I pray that as you watch this movie, you shall be mightily blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. In a season of ancestral wickedness and time of altars, the destiny of great families rests on the shoulders of Christ's redemptive power through a young priest. His name, Brajan.
my keeper. His people perish for lack of understanding. He is only permitted to play his part, not all the parts. Oh, you mean the savior? Yes. They have been able to get deliverance according to the measure of revelation given to them, but not all. There are still some ordinances left unveiled. Huh. When some legals buy dynasty standing, it means that their deliverance is incomplete. They have deliverance, but not a complete one, my king. We work with demons. So we introduce the system of demonology. We are cast out. We go for a while and then come back reinforced. And according to what is written in their book, the book of Matthew chapter 12 verse 45, that when a demon is being casted out, that demon will come back with more seven powerful demons to come and inhabit their former habitation. <laughs> and the last state of that man is worse than the first. Mm. Even so shall it be unto this weaker generation. Mm. <laughs> My keeper, we are not done with the family of feeling. Let us switch over to the bloodline altar. Philip is now delivered from paternal altars. Mm. But his father is not. And his mother's family has a lot of voices and sacrifices. Then we shall open the book of revenge and connect with his mother's family. And take over from there, my keeper. So be it! There is trouble. But is this how we are meant to live our life as Christians? Trouble day in and day out. That's my thought too. I've been having a lot of fearful dreams recently. Hmm. Be happy that you have dreams too. Because one of the major reasons why people have attacks is because their dream life is attacked. You see, once your dream life is attacked, your life also is under attack. This particular one looks like it has a lot of information in it. No, it has no information but revelation. Don't forget, Philip, that uh, no revelation, no result. Mm, that's true, that's true. Uh, remember, information is physical and can be gotten from the street. While revelation is spiritual and can only be gotten from the spiritual realm. Three things are cogent. Um, the reinforcement of demons, maternal altars, and income complete deliverance. Mm. You see, these people are stubborn, so we have to be stubborn. But I'm repeating it. I said, is this how we must live our life as Christians? See, when unbelievers are just living their life freely without any battle, what is our offense? We committed an offense this day we give our life to Christ. The day we give our life to Christ, we turn our backs towards the devil, towards the flesh, and towards Satan and demons. And immediately, an attack was launched. The very day we gave our life to Christ, a war was declared upon our lives. But the Bible says there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. It is no condemnation, not no battle, not no war. Onward Christian soldiers, marching us to war, looking unto Jesus. Who is gone before Christ the royal master lead against the foe forward into battle see his banner go Pa-na-na-na-na-na. oh what Christian soldiers marching us to war Looking unto Jesus, who is gone before. 
Mm. So we face our focus on Jesus and the war will be won. Mm. This victory, we shall fight for it. We don't fight for victory. We fight in victory. Because the atmosphere of victory has been created for us. So we are only fighting in the atmosphere of victory. That's it. Yeah. What happened to your father? Oh. Your boss said he has been calling you severally, but you refused to pick the call. Eleven missed calls. My mm. phone has been on silence. He needs you urgently. I think there is a little problem. I will call him, there's no problem. Uh, Philip, it means we will continue our discussion later. All right. Mm. All right. Ah, my brother, I'm tired. I don't know what to think again. My life is just somehow. My wife lost the pregnancy again yesterday. What? Yes. I hope it's not due to much stress because I understand that stress can cause miscarriage at times. This is not about stress. Not at all. It's a dream. It's a dream again. The dream of someone tying rope on a stomach. See, I, I don't know what to think. Okay? Everything stopped after the prayer session and deliverance sessions. But I suddenly the thing just showed up yesterday and Pregnancy gone again. The devil is a bastard. A very, very big bastard. But how you about the company, sir? Well, the company is okay, moving on economically. And um, the member of staff too is um, improving. At least we have those that are older than 30 now. So mm. things are moving on better. In that case, we must seek for spiritual intelligence to know why this um, case of your wife keeps recurring. Um, you know what? Mm -hmm. I think I know why. You know why? Mm. Okay, let's 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 hear it. What is it? I'm sure it's because I'm here to fulfill my promise of a furnished landed property that I ought to have given to you. No, sir. I don't think so. You see, as much as it is very important to offer sacrifice on God's altar, mm. like Noah, um, David, and so on, it is not the major key to deliverance. I told you. Yes, yes, you mentioned it. But you remember you told us this being our first is very important. Yeah, but then you said there are five keys, five major keys to you know, securing deliverance. Mm -hmm. Number one is you offering yourself. You are the first sacrifice. You offer yourself as a sacrifice according to Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Then secondly, you know, offer presence, uh, you know, of worship in his presence, Hebrew, uh, according to Hebrews 13, 15. At the same time, you know, another thing is giving. Giving, you know, out of understanding. Giving with understanding, not out of emotion or empathy. You know, they are the same time, even if you are donating, you are donating out of a leading, not out of emotion or, you know, wanting to do this. Mm. Then the final one is the decrease, the prophetic decrease. Mm. And we have a prophetic dimension of deliverance that can actually be administered to people. Mm. So you see that, you know, giving or leaving things out is not just the only key. That's, that's, that's very correct. Because we had a leading mm. that we need to give that to you so that we can see God's face. Mm. I'm telling you. I believe God will help you and um, it will help you. At the same time, I think I also need to seek guidance mm. on this issue. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm really running late. My oh. wife is still at the clinic. I need to go and I don't want this rain to catch up with oh, me, if you right. don't mind. No, I don't so mind. I can just thank get very ready. Much. Okay. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so what did John say about um, the dream? We haven't really had time to discuss. But some really, the deliverance of this family is not yet to complete. Although personal deliverance has been achieved, but bloodline deliverance is still needed. Ah, bloodline again. Ah, I'm, I'm fed up of this. Of, of what see, things are. that's what the devil wants to achieve. To make us fed up of the whole situation and lose our faith and confidence in God. And <laughs> it's very risky. Oh. 
It's very risky for you, sir. Me? For me? No, uh -uh. I don't think so. I don't think so. Why me? Because you are the target. You are also a first son. For me, the altar of sickness and conversion is over. And that means it's over for me to you are my son. Dad, victory is not generic in this kingdom. You have to fight for your own victory. The victory of the man of God does not automatically transfer to his children. We are individual fighters. Oh God, what else do they want? What else do they want? Baba Kintewe has come here. He has asked for forgiveness and salvation. Dad, Baba Kintewe is not the keeper of the altar. He was only loyal to the pattern that has existed before he was born. Ah. Hey, Philip. Philip. Ah. Let, let's try this. Eh? Um, you will see that if your friends can leave, there will be peace. Let's try it. This time around, I will allow you. In fact, they will soon be leaving. They will soon be leaving. <sighs> soon be leaving. Bloodline. Bloodline again. Really, I... It's, it's difficult to believe this explanation because... Mental manager told me he was all right before he discharged him. <laughs> He's not better at all. I mean, the last time I saw him on the streets, I wept for him. This case was so serious. This... He was he was going naked due to this madness. That's so sad. This is so serious. <sighs> this is so serious. See, okay, do you know any of his relatives or his place or his people? Mm, I actually know of a family member of his. Okay. You know, he was staying with this person before we got our own space when we were running the fraud and Yahoo business. Uh, so, ah, no problem. I'll just have to tell Bro John. Mm. Then I'll have to see the mental manager also. He said he has some discussions with me. After then, I will revert to you. I pray the Lord will help us. Man, man, see, it, this, it's, this it's very so sad. Serious. This is serious. Calm. Mm. So sad. Do you still think it is right to give Bro John that house on the land we both know as a problem? <sighs> That is more reason why we need to give it to them. You know they are prayerful, they are spiritual. They will to handle whatever is in that place, okay? Then it is better we let them know so that they can be prepared. Well, that is the reason why we are giving it to them in the first place. If they move into that house, with their prayers and not their own, if there are many more things we are not thinking about, will be resolved, okay? Well, I'm just thinking they should know. What if you say otherwise? Fine. I say so. As much as I want to help, I cannot. Because I'm no longer interested in this business anymore. Zeros was my last patient. Yeah. How can we now help Scam? Because you told me it was all right then. I'm surprised. You know you are the only one that understands this spiritual thing. Maybe the covenant or the thing came back immediately after I left here. But you have to help me. You have to. This is not a psychiatric problem, but a serious spiritual one. All my efforts to take care of Zeros, the last time was he was here, failed. Not only you, you introduced a spiritual method. Mm, yes, <sighs> yes, but at least if you can help me to take him off the street first, then we can find what to do. On one condition, you don't even ask to have him calling you for this one. I also have a problem in my family. See, I am 36. No relationship. My elder sister is 41, for crying out loud. Her husband is 45. No marriage. Are, are you serious? What, what is stopping all of you? No partners! As for me, this married woman that do come to me as their sugar daddy, a lot of break calls when they come. Everything will, will, will just start serious, but later will just go off like that for no reason. Please, Lord, help us. Um, what do you want me to do about it now? Help me, help me, bro, Jude. I have seen you exercise victory over zero. Tell your brother to help my family. You want to settle down for crying out loud. Uh, is that now the condition for helping scam? Yes. Because I have I have helped you in the past. I have. No problem. See, just 
help me with a lot of scam let me take him off the street first then i will know what to do with the help of god oh no god okay how do i get the information of his word um concerning that zeros will call you meet with you and he'll give you necessary details about it no problem no problem and you. what would you like to take i see this mood i'm not taking anything i, I just have... help me to do that first, i have please. chicken at home philip so when is your mommy coming back? I would rather ask, what has she gone to do in the village for that long? Ah, I don't know. I don't know, ma. Oh, Brother John, is there any message from the realm of the spirit? If I have an impression in my spirit, and that was why I asked you the question earlier about what she went to do in the village and when she would likely return. I don't know. <sighs> Except maybe she has gone to greet her parent. John, is there any problem? Matana alters and pattern. Hmm. This shout is loud and clear. Mm. Any book of revenge. Any, any book, book of, of revenge. revenge. Opened up for me. Ah, opened up, opened for, up me. for me. Because of my maternal sins. Being opened because, because of, of my maternal sins. I invoke the blood. I invoke the blood, the blood of, of Jesus. Jesus. In, the in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, any maternal sins. Build up because of my sins. I invoke the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will need to ask your father some questions. Okay. Um, John, I sent for you. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking I've delayed for too long. So your house is ready. You can now move your things there. Ah, really? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, sir. It was uh, late last night I saw your message that you needed to see me. Yeah. I don't even know you still to share this wonderful news. Thank, Thank you, sir. But uh, we don't have things. We just have few clothes. Just few clothes and few stuffs. We don't have much. Mm -hmm. well, I don't think that should be a problem. But I hope your younger friend, um, Philip, I hope you'll be happy about the development. Um, he'll be fine. He will. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. I God bless your heart. Sir. That's good. Wow. That's good. <laughs> I cannot be fine. I cannot be fine alone in this house. Bro, John. You are my sunshine. I cannot do without you. you leave this house and I will follow you. No, but Philip, your dad will be with you. And besides, God is here with you. How will I go? How? How will I learn more? You leave this house and I will follow you, please. But you can grow by the word of God. You have your Bible with you. And you have Holy Spirit. Even with all of that, I think we still need each other. Staying alone with my dad, who does not believe in spiritual things, it's not okay for me. Iron sharpened iron. So a man sharpens the countenance of his friends. Ah, ah. Philip. Yes, mom. The company you keep determines what accompanies you. And mm. um, see, I don't think this should be serious. If you tell your dad and he allows you, you can follow us. And if he doesn't, you can always visit us time to time. I hope our place will not be far from this place. You see? I'll follow you. Please. No, not possible. You're not leaving this house. What are you thinking? I am thinking that living with them will better my spiritual life. I still need to grow. No, no, no. You've grown enough. You have, you have, you have grown enough. So you want to leave me alone in this house? But my mom will soon be back. Besides, I will always come to check up on you from time to time. And I promise you that you're not leaving this house. That is... No, 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 no. You're not leaving. And that's fair now. Just, just stay. Stay. No that... way. It's not possible. That please. No way.
Yep. Yabo. 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 Yabo, please. Yabo, please. Ah, Yabo. Please. Yabo. Yabo, please. Yabo. 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 Yes, it's I could hear you from my sleep. Oh God. I was even in a dream. It was your noise that woke me up. What was it? And I had you call mom's name. What was it? It's your mom, mom. And I wonder. I wonder how to go. It's your mom, mom. Philip. That was ah. it. Calm down. They they give they give your mom canes. And they, they were asking her to be beating me. Ah beat you for what why why ah, ah. and i told her i wonder but she will not listen yes. what's this ah what's this ah wait oh. huh. this is serious so did she come here to beat you physically or what it's just of a dream it's just of a dream and i wonder i wonder how how i can see it now that's wait oh. They beat you from the spiritual realm. And I can see it physically in this realm. Ah, 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 ah. This calls for a spiritual emergency. Ah. Hey, call John. Call John. I, I think we should go to them. Yeah? Call John. Dad. This I can't, I can't. I can't be beaten from the dream. And to go show physical. Dad, where has mom gone to? Because I could see her in my dream. She was dancing around the masquerade as they began to pour blood on her body. They poured blood on her body? Yes! Jesus! Jesus! Philip, I don't think you're going to be surprised at all. Because you already saw in your revelation the keeper opening a book of revenge for your maternal family. <laughs> revenge? What is what is all this again? I, I thought Philip is free. And that I think it is free. Why why all this why, why all this revenge book of I don't understand. I think the devil has shifted to your wife's family. Uh, Philip already saw it. The devil is up to something. Hey, I said this. But Mike, I said this. I said if Philip eventually prays through, that doesn't mean it will automatically release you. I said it. But where exactly has Mama Philip come to? I keep asking him that question, but he hasn't answered me yet. You have to. Because all this revelation has something to do with the ancestry of your wife's family. She went for, for a festival. Actually, I told her not to go anymore because I don't want her to partake in it anymore. But, but she she just wanted to go. Hey, let me ask, what did they do? They well, they, they, they buy a goat, and they kill it, and then they use the blood to pray, mm -hmm. and then they will see the goat up after everything. So I told her not to go again because. She has been going since she was young. It's, it's, a, it's a normal thing they do in their family. Mm. You know, everybody comes back to the village, you know, from wherever they are. Mm. Now I see what they are trying to do. I see what the devil is holding on to. They are enforcing an altar and they are ratifying it by blood. Mm. <laughs> and this is to keep the altar alive. And it is binding. But she has been good since she was young. And she, since she has been going, I've not been experiencing any of these issues, these attacks or dreams or anything. Now, <laughs> the accuser has found a foot auto strike. Mm -hmm. The devil is very intelligent. He looks for loopholes in the life of people so that he can maintain his relevance in their families. Mm -hmm. That means there are many wrongs people are doing now. But the devil will ignore. Not until a point in time, he will use that loophole to strike. Sister Veronica. Joe. What am I to do now? The same thing. 
the same thing you've been shying away from, which is prayer. Prayer. And this thing concerns you more because you are the husband. Only God knows the repercussion of all this beating you are receiving in your, in your dream. They are marks of bewitchment, stagnation and impending troubles. And they have only come to register their relevance in this family. Ah, please, sir. Please help me out. Should I not go? For how long will I do this? For how long will I keep fighting these battles? Ah, I need my total deliverance. Please help me. Let us pray. Every witchcraft power, every, every witchcraft power. power in my foundation. In my foundation. Bro, Mike, stop. Oh. This is the same problem that we always have. You don't want to open your mouth and pray. And that's why they are beating you. They will beat you again tomorrow. For how long you like you fighting? Shout this loud and clear. I shouted it the other time too. You will shout it again. We are shouters in this kingdom. We travel in Zion. Every witchcraft power, every witchcraft power, attacking my foundation, attacking my foundation. Every witchcraft power, every witchcraft power, in my foundation, in my foundation, attacking my destiny, attacking my destiny, crossed by fire. Let's do that prayer. Every witchcraft power in my foundation, attacking my destiny, be crossed by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray. Bewitchment of my mother's house. Bewitchment of my mother's house. Be roasted by fire. Be roasted by fire. Bewitchment of my mother's house. Be roasted by fire. In the name of Jesus. Bewitchment of my mother's house. Be roasted by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. For in Jesus' name. Don't know me to come and ask you if truly you are born again. What do you mean? See, I don't believe in all these um, religious things. Though. As long as I don't fight anybody, I read my Bible, I feed the poor, I'm safe, I'm free. Mm -hmm. Sir, if you are not really born again, I'm afraid all these prayers we've been praying for you, we have no effect. Uh -uh. Yes, because the first and major altar that passed every other altar is the altar of sin and iniquity. Well, I'm not, I'm not committing anything. That's self-righteousness, that. Because the Bible says, for all have sinned, and I come short the glory of the Lord. Exactly. It's very correct. Because you actually need a time that you will confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. It is only then that you can be saved. Uh -uh. And that is when you will truly be safe. Okay. okay. Uh, 
I will work towards it, I promise. But why not now, Dad? I said I will work towards it as soon as possible. Jude, you're welcome. Uh, how did it go? That's good. I can see a slight bruise on your face. This other part of your face. What's the problem? Do you have a minor accident? Um, I, I'm ashamed of myself right now. Ah, ashamed of yourself. What happened? The evil spirit in that boy, it slapped me. It pounced on me. It beat me mercilessly today. If, if not because of, of those guys that saved me. What did you say to Scam? I, 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 I tried to cast it out in the name of Jesus. And immediately it went angry and went white. That's, that's very strange. The name of Jesus is one of the sure weapons of victory. And in the mouth of the righteous is availed much. But what has happened? See, I can't see. I can't see. I just know I need to make some research because he kept mentioning one name. He kept mentioning one name like that. Oh, it mentioned the name. So, what? What name? What is the name? I, yeah, he, he said Prince of Tyros. Yeah, I remember. He said Prince of Tyros. He said he's Prince of Tyros. Prince of Tyros. That sits on the seat of the gods. Tyros. Uh, I no wonder. Uh, wait, how come? Who is he? Do you know him? Tyros is a system of wealth and riches. A very proud spirit that dwells in the children of destruction. It must have gone angry because you mentioned the name of Jesus. Really? Please, please tell me more. Cyrus. Sorry. He is a very wise man. Even the Bible recorded that he is wiser than Daniel. He has been from the beginning. In fact, he was in the Garden of Eden. Tyros. Uh, how then did Scam now encounter this spirit? This spirit is innocent. It is the lifestyle of men that caused them. Okay. You see, when people begin to look for wealth in a fraudulent way, they are automatically calling the spirit of Tyros. The same thing when our young ladies begin to dress seductively, dressing anyhow half naked without moderation, they are automatically calling this Jezebelic system in their lives. It is men that cause them. Hi. Uh, what then do we now do about it now? What are we going to do? Never mind. Never mind. Be patient. See, next time, you have to be patient okay. so that you can know how to engage properly. Every spirit have their various rules of engagement. Sorry. Thank you. What did you do? Did you have you have you used anything? No, oh, not yet. It's like we have some uh, first aid equipment in the trust. Actually, we just completed um, the building for flats. You know, yeah, so we saw it outside. Yeah. So I'm just thinking this will be good as an apartment for you, and you can have neighbors in the other three. I hope it's okay. It's beautiful, and you're okay with the furnished place. It's beautiful. <laughs> See, ah, this is huge. It's not. May the Lord reward you, sir. Amen. Amen. <sighs> It even have television. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Ah, this place is beautiful. Mm -hmm. You see, and I pray that 
the understanding that you have that made you to sow this into our lives. That God will reward you in Jesus' name. Amen. The understanding that you have that will make that make you to sow this on God's altar. Mm -hmm. We attract His presence Amen. and it's going to grant all your heart desires Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Ah. And she sat, and she go. I give God praise. So that's <laughs> I'm very happy, sir. Because, you know, because of Philip, he said they will be coming to visit us. And this place is not too far from where we are currently living. Mm, yeah, not really far, just a few distance. Oh, that's very yes. good. That's very, very good. Nah, I'm happy. I'm the happy rooms are right? there. Yes, this way. What we like to say? No, don't worry. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yes. My keeper. Keeper of the sacrifice. Whatever that has brought you here must be a matter of urgency. Importantly urgent. While going through the list of those that God delivered from the altar, I found out another binding sacrifice for Veronica. Veronica? Yes. The widow? Mm. John's mother? Yes, my keeper. I found out that nobody among his father's children made any headway. It is as if they are hidden despite their academic qualification. Tell me more. I am interested. Please. Let me keep this for now, my keeper, but initiate the power of grave and of the dead to connect her back to the altar. Her people have covenant with the grave. Hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> the spirit of the grave. The greatest swallower on earth. Yes, the keeper of the grave. Oh, so be it. Avro Mike, we really appreciate you for all the time we've spent here in your house since the death of my husband. Oh, you've been so helpful and we are so grateful. Thank you so much. God bless you, sir. Uh, and we thank God. We thank God. To God alone be all the glory. Hallelujah. And we are very sorry for whatever inconveniences you must have caused here and there no. while we stayed with you. No, there are no inconveniences. No, 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 no. Really? They're just, they're just things to make us strong. Mm. Wow. Oh. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for that, sir. So we are here to inform you that we are about to leave it. Ah. Yes, to our new location. It's time? Yes, sir. Ah. We miss you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for, for your time in my house. Your time in my house has, has, has brought so much joy, mm -hmm. so much peace, and we're so happy to have you. Thank you so much. Thank you, too, sir. I thank you for the healing of my son. Ah, thank God for that. Ah. Brother John. John, are you really leaving me behind? Uh, Philip, my heart is with you. Hmm? Trust me, that's no cause for alarm. Philip, don't worry. I promise that um, anytime you want to go and see them, uh, you're free. Oh. I will not stop you. <laughs> you might be far to them. <laughs> that has spoken. Philip, cheer up. Are you fine now? Rajan, you are an, an inspiration to the youth. I am blessed to have you. Mm. And I will protect this relationship with my life. Mm. Thanks for all you do. And I'm really happy to see how fast you are growing in God. Sincerely, it's a very big encouragement to me. And I can only pray that God will keep and preserve you. 
So thank you, sir. We need to go now. Oh, <laughs> and I regards to Mommy Philip when she returns. Philip is okay. We'll be fine. We'll be all right. Yeah. Philip yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful wife. I'm missing you. Yeah. I'm missing you, my love. Please call me. You're welcome. Sit down. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, my love. <laughs> yeah. mm. I'm so surprised and shocked to see you, but I'm happy to see you. Yeah, wonderful. See, wait, let me get you something. To okay. Okay. Let me get you that's my love. You see the way I hugged him in the dream. He looked more handsome and well fed. Mm. I'm afraid it's his prayer. Why give her joy? Why must we pray again? Wait, is it not about that? That's not that you saw. That is not that you saw at all. That's a split thing we have been bridging me to pray. Really? Now, come to think of it, I have never seen him, not even in my dream for one, except for this. Jude, Mom, come to think of it. Why is that dream coming now? The devil is smart. Why is it now? And why is it? during our first night in this house. So John, you, you suspect a lot. This is not suspicion or discernment. Mm -hmm. You see, every serious Christian will have the Spirit of God in their life. Must not just suspect, but discern. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit must always you know, reveal the truth. What then do we pray about? We need to seek and uh, discover the means of engagement of this kind of spirit. What to do when we have this kind of dreams, the secrets of what to engage. You see, there is a great world of difference between the living and the dead. Is that? I think the noise is coming from the next one. The mother is scolding the son. <laughs> I think it's the other way around. The son is scolding the mother. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, well. We get to know that.
Hmm. Kai, 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 Kai. If only men can study and not just read from the volume of the books. Ha! Huh. Jude! Jude! Ah! Krajan. Jude. Yeah. If you must indeed defeat the Prince of Tyros, okay. that is wrecking judgment on the children of disobedience. Okay. Then you might need to go and study Ezekiel chapter 28. Ezekiel 28. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see, his judgment, his systems, and his dooms are there. Hmm. Hmm. You must understand the communication of the Prince of Tyros if you must displease him. <sighs> oh. I'm beginning to understand things now. You see, when you want to defeat a demonic spirit, okay. it's not just going to pray. You must go and find out about their doom and their judgment. Mm -hmm. Then you remind them of it. Through that, you have weakened their hearts. Um, Bro John, I will find time to study it. But at the same time, I will love us to have time to talk more about it. Of course we will. But you see now, I'm really praying and seeking for more revelations on the issue of this graveyard spirit. Mm. And with what I'm finding out, Jude, it's alarming. <sighs> so alarming. Many people are enslaved at the gate of the grave without them mm. even knowing at all. Okay. The life of people are ensnared at the graveyard gate. Some are dead already. Ah. Spirit of the grave! Gatekeeper of the grave! Good. My keeper, how may I be of service? Wall of the grave. You caught people's destiny short. You have power. You have victory. You have gates. You are a glutinous heater that never gets satisfied. I am ready to serve in full capacity, my keeper. Good. Can I have access to some bodies? We have access to all the bodies that have been lowered beyond the ground. Dust, mission. God. <laughs> The keeper of the grave. I need the body of Daniel. Daniel Akiwali. She had a madamani sava. Lemano sava. Daniel! Sorry for disrupting your rest. We need you to bring a process back to existence. To continue a pattern. Please keep out of the grave. Dominate him. Enter into him. And then enter the dream life of Veronica. Send me my keeper. <laughs> you may go. <laughs> oh, dear. Where to? Where are you coming from? Oh, strolling around the city, looking for you, my love. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, life has not been so easy since the time you left. I actually came to restrain our relationship. And I hope you are okay with that. Oh, why not? Oh. I'm okay. <laughs> Good. I don't let's walk down the street. <laughs> to 
see Bro John and his family urgently. Oh. Ah. That man is not a husband that died. Mm. Ah. Satan and deception. Kai. Philip, where are you going? I told you I need to see my people urgently. The devil is on a dangerous project. Why are you carrying your bag? Are you not coming back tonight? Dad, it's a serious issue. We need to sit together, pray together, study together. We need to be there for some time, you know? We need to be together for a while. If you are not together with them, what about me? Eh? I've been having very scary dreams. Your mom has refused to pick my calls. I'm scared to stay alone in this house. Dad, be serious with God. I was once like you with a I don't care attitude. But when I see the harm the devil can do to a life outside Christ, I have to take my life serious with God. What is he talking about? Am I not born again? You are a moralist, Dad. Confess God as your personal Lord and Savior. And when you do that, an altar is automatically being constructed for you in the spirit. The name of this altar is called the Throne of Grace. <sighs> throne of Grace. Throne of Grace. Is that an altar? Yes, it's an altar where all Zionite comes to commune with the immortals of heaven. Anyone who has not registered with this altar is living on a time bomb. Dad, I need to run. Wait, 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 Philip. Philip, don't be long. Because I need you to explain these things to me more. Dad, read Hebrew 4.16. I need to run. Hebrew 4.16. Hebrews. Hebrews 4.16. What is happening around my life? Why this sudden dream seeing the dead? Is it my emotions? Or am I missing him? I really miss him. As he held my hands and smiled at me. The devil is up to something. Yes. But what is the devil really up to? Huh? Revelation Lord. According to Isaiah chapter 38, verse 10, it says the grave has gates. What is the mystery behind the gates? Please, please, don't kill me. What have I done? <laughs> Ask your husband. You are eating the blood. <laughs> My blood is crying for revenge. <laughs> I am the reason why the company is not prospering. <laughs> it is my blood, it is my sweat. <laughs> There's a lot of questions you need to answer. I 
enjoyed the dream. He held my hand and we continued to move together. Look at the way you are smiling as if you want to bring him back so that I can physically hold your hands. It was not that that you saw in that dream. Hmm? You are having an interaction with the spirit of the grave. It's all manipulation. What about the spirit of the just men made perfect according to the Hebrews? Jude, this is not the spirit of just men made perfect. Can't you see their writing on the wall? The devil is up to something. You are always there coming, the door is not locked. Hello? Ah! Philip! How are you doing? Ah, <laughs> Philip, where to? Are you traveling? Of course, I traveled. But I have arrived at my destination. <laughs> what do you mean, Philip? I was traveling to see Brother John, Brother Jude, and Mommy, and I have arrived safely. What? The Lord, are, are, you, are you not returning anytime soon? I will return when the Spirit gives the order. There is so much to be done. What about that? He's at home. You left him all alone at home? No. I left him with Hebrew for sustain. I think he needs an encounter with that verse. Philip, so you've just come to greet us. We need to act fast in prayers. The devil is playing a smart game. I can see the spirit of the grave ravaging around. Philip, you saw it. And you know the secret things belong to God. But the one revealed are for us and our children forever. You really so well. You really so well. And I'm, I'm glad. But we have to pray. And I'm going to seek for necessary revelation. And we give us um, some verses to read later in the day so that we can come out and discuss and trash this thing finally. No, dear. You can't keep saying it's nothing all the time. Look at our lives. Is everything okay with us? Come on, let's face reality. What, what reality? Look, tell me, okay? What reality? Look, are you insinuating that my family is engaged in money riches now? I am not saying that. Okay. But then it is not bad to ask your people some questions. The guy I saw in my dream said that you are eating blood and that everything you have is on the foundation of blood. Now, no, no, look, okay, okay, okay. Try to be sensible, at least if it's just now. Are you thinking? Are you listening to yourself? No, tell me, are you listening to yourself? What is sense in what you have just said? How? How? I don't know. Tell me, how? Blood? How? It makes a whole lot of sense. See, dear, we need help. We need help, seriously. Okay. I'll see what I can do about it. Please do. And if you need to ask your father, I think it's the right thing to do. And I think I should also inform your job. So Luke, I'm I'm sorry to have delayed my response to your proposal. No problem. Just give me the response. Cool. Calm down to Lou. You're a good man. So I say yes. Say yes. Thank you so much. Uh -uh. Why the sudden change in your countenance? Or don't you like it? I hope this happiness will last. I hope I now eventually have to myself. So. What do you mean now? Don't you trust me? Tolu, you see, I love you. And I can't wait for you to be our husband. Wow. Thank you, Lord. This was celebration. Yeah. Don't lose this. Mm, tomorrow will be fine. The same time. Good. Yeah. I'll give you a very nice drink. No problem. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Hold on, let me get something. All right, no problem. Collins. Collins. Hey. Collins, I beg you, please open this door. Eh? You've kept me here for the past 24 hours. I've been bitten by mosquitoes. Eh? This place is choky. Everything is not just. Please, please, I beg you. That's where you belong. And you are not leaving that place anytime soon. Collins, have you forgotten I'm your mother? 
Mother. <laughs> is that a qualification or a degree? Good for nothing. Mother. Okay, can you at least get me water? I'm thirsty. Use the tap in the toilet and help yourself. Collins. There's no healthy bowl for me to take water from the tap. There's no healthy bowl here. Then stay there and starve yourself. It's none of my business. Collins. Do you want to kill me? <laughs> wow. How did you know my mission? You are very wise and observant. That's my mission. I want to Now let's talk. Mom, do you now believe that the man you saw in your dream is not your husband? Yes, and I hate the fact that I had shown so much empathy and relationship with this spirit. Ah, that is the spirit. That's the spirit. You see, you must first of all accept that fact. Um, Philip. Over to you. The grave is a place of being caught up. According to Psalm 88 verse 5, what the spirit of the grave actually does to any man is to make such person caught off as though he or she is alone on this earth without anybody at all. Another thing the spirit of the dead and grave does to a man is to bring him to a point of silence leading to depression. Hmm. See, depression has explanation. What the spirit of grief does is that it brings a man to a point of silence. According to Psalm chapter 31, verse 17. Mm. Hmm. You see, grave is not just a pit. But it is a spirit being. Mm. And it, it has a lot of power. According to Psalm 49, verse 15. See it? Deliver my soul from the power of grave. You see, I'm happy that um, we all have a foundation. You see, what baffles me most is the fact that uh, people who have died can rise up again and then begin to greet the people. Really? That's like reincarnation. No, no, not, not really reincarnation. You see, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 27, verse 52 to 53, it says that when Jesus gave up the ghosts, he said there was a loud noise. And the bodies of the saints that slept arose and went into the holy city and was greeting the people. Okay, okay. So, where are we going? Where are we driving at? John? Where are we going? Mommy, calm down. Calm down. So this spirit of the grave we're talking about, it also has victory. Ah, it has victory. It can also overcome. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 55, the spirit of the grave can also overcome. And it has victory. And here comes a great mystery that many people don't know. It is called the gate of the grave. This is a gate where the souls of many are summoned. That an entity left here doesn't mean it has stopped functioning. That mm. an entity left this realm doesn't mean it has stopped functioning. Does that mean the grave can choose a person and say, bring them to join us? There's no one who dies prematurely that was not summoned at the gate of the grave. 
You see this gate of the grave is a gluttonous eater mm. that never gets satisfied. Mm. Let's pray in holy hunger. Ah. Every grave power, every grave power, assigned against my life and destiny. Assigned against my life and destiny. Die, die. Every grave power, assigned against my life and destiny. Every power of the grave, power of the gate, assigned against my life and destiny. I declare death upon your life now, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Yeah. That whoever that is calling my name to the grave, ah. that their time is up in the mighty name of Jesus. Whoever that is calling my name to the grave, your time is up. In the name of Jesus, whoever that is calling my name at the gate of grace, your time is up. I silence you in the name of Jesus. Whoever that is calling my name or any members of my family at the gate of grace, your time is up in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's tell it to God. God, that father, father, my father, my father, my father, my father, father, I shut down the mouth of the grave. I, I, I shut down, down the mouth of the grave. Over my family, and over, over my family, over my life, in the name of Jesus. I shut down the mouth of the grave. Over my family, over my, over my, over my, over my, my, family, over my life, over my destiny. I shut down the mouth of the grave. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shut down the mouth of grave. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. You see, according to the book of Hosea. Hosea chapter 13 verse 14 it says i will ransom you from the power of grave and redeeming you from death we are going to pray you will say father, father i bind and cast out I bind and cast every out. spirit of graveyard every spirit of graveyard harassing my life my I destiny my life in, destiny. The, name in the name of jesus father i bind I and, and cast out every spirit of graveyard harassing my life my destiny my family i cast you out i bind you and cast you out in the name of jesus I bind you and cast you out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Now you will see what will happen tonight. Don't you think that we'll pray this kind of prayer with tenacity and nothing will happen while we sleep? Yeah, it doesn't matter whether you have dreams related to dead relatives or not. Just pray. Yes. Pray. Rojan, when are we going to talk about the way out? You see, there's a very important secrets for dealing with this kind of situation and um, God will help us. Amen. He will help us. I really need to see these people. Maybe they can help me. I'm totally fed up of all of these things. Huh? Who opened that door for you? I said, Who opened that door for you? Nobody. The door just opened by itself. Just opened by itself. Calm down. Oh, yeah. Get back into that place now. Get back into that place now. No, no, no. no. I think it. inside the toilet. I just managed to escape now. What? Are you sure this one is your son? Are you sure this one is not exchanged in the water when he was giving birth to you? Mama, you made me up here. 
Saw you, saw you. Yes, it's me and you today. Hebrews, Hebrews. Where is Hebrews in this Bible? Hebrews four. Can it be page four of the Bible? Hebrews. God, where is Hebrews? Where is Hebrews? Where is Hebrews? Can it be page four? Ha, ha, ha. Throne of grace. Jesus, where is the throne of grace in this Bible? My son is talking about the throne of grace. Ha, ha. I can't find it, oh, so. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. I see judges, I see numbers, exo, exodus. Where is the throne of Christ in this Bible? God, help me, help me. Please subscribe. Mm -hmm. hey. Hey. Gatekeeper of the grave, spirit of the grave. There is a reinforcement, an attack at the gate. They have reduced my power and tried to shut my mouth from mentioning them and try to call their destiny to the grave. What is to be done now? Never mind. It's a normal attack we suffer from the children of the Son of Man. As far as I'm concerned, only the Son of Man can challenge the very power of my victory. Don't mind them. That woman's family has a covenant with the grave. And the record is with the keeper of sacrifice. So, we have a legal ground. I will reinforce and fasting my plan. The next time I appear in a dream, negotiation to bring her back will be made. Once she agree, you will receive her at the gate. But we fast about it. I hope they will not invoke you with the name of Not directly, but I'm afraid there is only one Lord that can shut our power permanently from the life of the children of men. What is it? What is it? Let's leave it for now, my keeper. The we never know it. Well done, the greatest swan on earth. Fantastic. 
Fantastic. Oh, my lovely son. <laughs> I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Why, John? You are rebuking your father. You are not my father. You are a demonic manipulation. And I renounce you now in Jesus' name. <laughs> What is it? You screamed. I saw a spirit now. He appeared here in form of our father. My father? But it has been defeated by the grace of God. I renounced it. Brother John, I feel we should ask mommy if she has any information about the people that are having a connection with the grave. Yes. Collins, what is it again? What is it again? Ah. And just your face is looking scary. Eh? What is it? I hate you. I hate you with every fiber of my being. Collins, why are you doing this to me? Eh? I've shown you love. And you see, I'm ready to do whatever you want me to do for you. I'll give you anything. Just ask. Just tell me what it is. Eh? What is wrong, please? Eh? Eh? You have not offended me. Hey, Collins. Hey, what are you doing, Collins? Please. Eh? Eh? Please. Eh? Eh? You have not offended me. Okay. Neither have you done anything bad to me. Eh? Hey. Hey. For the fact. Eh? You. I'm like, ah! no, no, please, you want to Do you want? We should be the one asking you that question. I said, what do you want? They just told you we are the one to ask you that question. I will ask you this question for the very last time. What do you want? See, all I know is that you are from the gate. And you are going back to that place. You are going back there. That's where you belong. You are going back to the gates. Hey, John. What do you mean by saying it's from the gate? And you send him back there. Because immediately you said that, he became calm. Yeah, yeah exactly, bro, John. Don't put us in the dark. Tell us these things. Let us all be patient. We are all fighting for something in common. Let's wait for the Spirit of God to reveal the truth. And that will be by the Spirit of Truth. Maybe they, maybe they are making the fake versions of this book. I read it. Is it fake? How can I be searching for? That is a robot. Uh, and that one that I saw. This is, this is frustrating. So I'll, be, I'll be reading this book. Hello, sir. Hello, Philip. I, I don't understand what is happening. I don't, I, 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 I don't know whether this book is fake or not. Because I've been searching for Hebrews for the past 10 hours. I can't find it in this book. Hebrews is not, they omitted it. It's not in this book. Dad, are you really serious that you don't know where Hebrews is in the Bible? I have searched and searched and searched and searched. In fact, in the middle of the night, I got to a place when I was searching uh, page 102. And it said, and the king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew, that's Hebrew, that's where I got Hebrew, the Hebrew midwives, uh, of which one is named Shupra, 
But that one is named Pua. I got Hebrews in that place. Really? Then you must have been reading from the book of Exodus. On the account of Moses' pet. That's not the book of Hebrews, Dad. Eh? Okay. Where is, where is Hebrews? I cannot get Hebrews. Hebrews is not in this book. The book of Hebrews is in the New Testament. Before the book of Philemon and after the book of James. Which one is New Testament? Which one is Archaic Testament? Which one is Old School Testament? Because, because I don't know which one is Philemon, which one is James. Okay, you know what, Philip? If you are sure that um, Hebrew is in this particular book, come and show me. After you have shown me, you cannot go back to where you are coming from. No doubt. The Holy Spirit will help you. In the absence of men, the Holy Spirit will set in. Keep finding the book of Hebrews, that. Philemon. Philemon. Philemon, James, Hebrews. Philemon. Is that your dad? Yes. He has been trying to find the book of um, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 18 since yesterday. What? <laughs> <laughs> you can't be serious. <laughs> <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> it is dangerous for anyone to be void of the word of God in our days. <laughs> the Lord will help him. Amen. Amen. Um, Amen. Bro John. Which way now? The prayer way. The word way. The blood way. Hmm. Sincerely, there are many battles to fight. <laughs> many battles. <laughs> Mom, you know, just wait, okay? Jude and Philip will follow me. That boy needs to be locked up. Yes, sir. Behind the bus, beaten by mosquitoes. Ah. Hey. See now, hello, hello, hello. Carry him. Carry him. I'm moving into one of those. No. Carry him. I'm killing you. I'm killing you. Yes. I'm killing you. Move it, move it, move it. I'm killing you. Yes. I'm killing you. I'm killing you. Move it. Leave me alone. I'm killing you. I'm killing you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What is the dog? I will kill you too! I will kill you too! What is the dog? 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 What is the Sorry, woman, sorry. We would um, go now and um, I'm going to call her mom to come and uh, take care of you. After we should ask some questions. Let's go. Ah, Father Lord, intervene. Intervene, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arrest every situation. Arrest every situation. Ah, take control in the name of Jesus. Every demonic voice is. 
every demonic voice is told that is there in the name of Jesus. Ah, how far? How far? Talk to me now. How far how was it? Hope all went well. Ah. Sincerely, all is not well with that family. He's ah. not well at all. Nothing is well with that family. Ah. You have to just go back to that place. Get that woman to stand up. Possibly ah. take care of her, nurse her, and whatever you can do to help her. She needs your help at this time. Go, go, just listen hey, up her. See? What I okay. keep wondering about is Jeez. how God does his things. Is it? What if you have not moved here? Who would have helped him? The same too for me and my family. Sincerely, my God is a game planner. Because it's obvious, he sends us here for this family. There are a lot of things we need to do, a lot of prayers to, to, to do, a lot, of, a lot of steps to take. This battle is not smiling. He hasn't really spoken since that day. And at times, I actually think he's dead, till I found him sleeping. So, has he been able to eat anything at all? Eat? Who will feed a violent man? He's on drug, and that will sustain him for some time. Mm. Scam. Scam. I can't actually forget that statement. That those things we got engaged in will eventually make us go mad. Hello, babe. See, it's delight hearing your voice. I hope you saw my message. Oh, you're actually making me blush, dear. You see, you have a special place in my heart. When are you going? I'm going? To where? I still have some things to discuss with you. Please go. I'm very busy. I'm engaged. But we still need to talk about it. Oh! Oh, babe. When are we planning our next meeting? All right. Okay, babe. You know I love you with all my heart. I don't know my offense. I don't know why he's so hostile to me. Ever since he was a child, he just hated me. I mean, to the point that he will not even allow me to carry him. Have you seen that before? <laughs> I don't mean this. Is that? <laughs> What, what, what could have been the issue? And um, my sister, are you sure you are the one who gave birth to this boy? <laughs> That's the same question people keep asking me. And sometimes I even ask myself. But the thing is, I'm sure I know. You hear him now? Oh, no. Ma, do you know that? When I was carrying this child as a baby, mm -hmm. and I tried breastfeeding him, mm. he would bite my breast to the mm. point that I would bleed. <laughs> I needed to start bottle feeding him. Hey! That's how bad it has been with colleagues. Ah! <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <sighs> there is no smoke without a fire. There is no smoke without a fire must be a reason for this. I have visited different prayer mountains. I've gone to different places for solution. Even I've sown seeds into the lives of different men of God. But it's still the same thing. All I know is that in this case, God will intervene. I trust him. Oh, oh, stop crying. Stop crying. My sister, stop crying. Mommy, call me. That was what my grandmother told me. She said her father took her to the graveyard as instructed by the priest, you know, for protection when he was losing his children. I mean, his children were dying mysteriously. So my grandmother was the only surviving daughter of her father, as in the father, while my own mother too was the only surviving child of our own mother, okay. me and my grandma. Now I see the connection. I see the connection. 
But do you know if your mother, her own grandmother, also went to the graveyard? Not really. I, I can't really see. But I don't think she did anything of such. No. And you are the only daughter of your family. Uh, but why are all these things just coming up? Be? There is a record keeper. Oh. Uh, he keeps a record. So, you know, he... Any evil record that has not been destroyed and washed by the blood of the lamp can be revisited even to the coming generation. I guess when they had nothing to do again, they went to look for records. What do they want to achieve? Why am I seeing dead in my dreams in a time like this? What are the consequences? It's, it just means that um, there is a pattern of untimely death in your family. Oh. That's the truth. And then. Um, the devil has just revisited it, so we mm. must break that covenant mm. with immediate alacrity. You see, when death sentence has been passed on someone spiritually, having dreams and seeing dead in the dreams is a very major thing. Mm. I so much believe that when one loses his or her loved one recently, mm. the excessive thinking of that person can lead to dream. Of course, Philip, you are correct, uh, but in this case, it's not a natural one because <laughs> the last time I checked, that died three years ago. So it's not, it's not natural. <laughs> yeah, it's not natural. I'm hungry. Mommy, please. <laughs> Mommy, please. Open this door. Mom, please. Help me, please. I'm hungry, please open this door! Mommy, please! Mommy, please! I'm hungry, please! <laughs> open this door, please! The prophetic changes the atmosphere of... I'm sorry for budging into you, please. What is it? My son. What is wrong with him? He's hungry and he has been banging the door. Don't give him food. Just leave him. Nothing will happen to him. Later tonight, we shall sit down and discuss these issues together. Nothing will happen to him. Oh, Jesus. If truly there's a book of Hebrews in this Bible, please help me to find it. Because I've I've searched and searched and searched. I can't find it. Please help me, Lord. Philip said, in the absence of man to help, the Holy Spirit will help. Lord Jesus, please help me. Help me to find the book of Hebrews. I need your help, Lord Jesus. I call on you today. I must find the book of Hebrews. Please help me. Now I show you a great mystery to knock out the graveyard spirit totally. And at the same time to shut the mouth of the gatekeeper of the grave. The account is in the book of Matthew chapter 27. And that was when Jesus cried with a loud voice and gave up the ghost. Mm. Mm. It was recorded in the Bible when the veil of the temple turned from top to bottom. Mm. And immediately there was an earthquake and the graves were opened. Mm. And that many people have rose. Mm. Those who slept in Christ, they are rose from those graves through mm. his resurrection. And then they went into the great city and begin to appear unto many. So that means the death of Christ has sponsored the resurrection of the saints from the grave. Exactly. Wow. But, Brother, what does that signify? It means that even every virtue, every good thing in our life, favor, relationship, open doors, you know, destiny helpers, that has been called to the gate of the grave 
can resurrect and come back to us through Christ's death. If we can engage in prayer, time it to the death of Christ. You know, it's his death that brought the sin back to life. So in his death too, everything that has died in us can also come back to life. Amen. Amen. It was through his death that death was swallowed of in victory. Mm -hmm. And he asked for his thing and grief for his victory. Mm -hmm. So to shut down the mouth of the grave actually, Mm. is to introduce the importance of the death of Christ and bringing victory through his death. And then through the power of resurrection, mm. he can bring back to life mm. everything that has been dead. Yeah, the Bible says in Philippians chapter 3 verse 10, it says that I may know him and the power of the resurrection and the fellowship of the sorrow being made conformable unto death. Hmm. So that means I have no connection with the dead. The Bible says they are dead, they shall not live. Mm -hmm. They are deceased, they shall not rise. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 26. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So what about me? Where, where do I stand? It is through both the dead and resurrection of Christ that the grievous spirit can be conquered. Mm -hmm. Now let us pray mm -hmm. like this. Every of my virtues, every of my virtues that has been buried, that has been buried under the grave, under the grave, be resurrected now. Pray that prayer. Every, every of my virtues, my faith, my connection, my life, that has been buried under the grave, be resurrected now in the name of in Jesus. We will pray. I break every connection. I break every, every connection. connection. Every connection that I have with the spirit of grace. Every, every connection, connection I have with the spirit of the grace. I break them in the name of Jesus. I break Jesus. them in the name of Jesus. I break every connection. Every connection I have with the spirit of the grace. I break them tonight now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break them in the resurrection power. Every connection I have with the spirit of the grace. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. this prayer. I receive the power. I receive the power to neglect to neglect and i neglect and i neglect every relationship with the dead every relationship in the name of jesus i receive the power to neglect and i neglect every relationship with the dead in the name of jesus christ i receive the power to neglect and i neglect every relationship with the dead in the name of jesus for in jesus mighty name we are amen by the power of resurrection I shut the gate of the grave against my life. Prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of resurrection, I shut the gate of the grave against my life. I shut the gate of the grave against my life. I shut the gate of the grave against my life. In that name of Jesus Christ. By the power of Jesus, we pray. Fire of God. Fire of God. Baptize my spirit man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fire of God. Baptize my spirit man. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Man, is there any myth surrounding his birth that you know? Myth? No, really. Um, it's just that I had a delay in childbearing. Mm. So my mother introduced me to this priest oh. that told me that for me to have a child, I have to sleep at the cemetery. Yeah. And um, he would pray for me around 2 a.m. in the midnight. 2 a.m.? Yes. Ah, what happened next? I did it just eh? like he told me to. He prayed for me. And um, he even told me that I would need to sleep overnight beside the cemetery. Ah. And um, the next morning I would leave. And that was what happened. Nothing happened to me. I was, I was fine. Hey! Jesus, Jesus. So, so, what happened next? Just like he promised, I became pregnant that same month. Hey! Hmm. That child was gotten from the graveyard. Huh? Possessed by the graveyard spirit. 
And when you give birth to such child, they eat their parents so seriously and they only have one aim to make sure that they kill their parents. Hey, Jesus! Why are you Jesus. shouting, Jesus? Ah. You conjoined with the spirit of the grave here to give you a son, and you have a son. Ah. Ah. So, John, John, what is the solution to all of this? What is the solution? You will pray. We will pray. It's a critical problem. But currently now, Jude and Philip are studying the word of God. It's a serious deliverance. Mm -hmm. Because that child is possessed by the graveyard spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it's graveyard that wants to give me a child. I thought it's to kill all my enemies, the people that don't want me to have children. Hey! Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, oh, ah. Hey! Eh? Ignorance is one of the major tools that the accuser used to enslave the people of God. Mm. But wait a minute. Mm. Where is your husband, Colin's dad? Eh? Huh. He killed him. What? He did what? He killed his own father? Hmm. Ah! <laughs> he killed his father. Huh? And that's why I have not remarried. Because all the suitors that come and they hear this story, they run away now. Because they don't want one child to just kill them one night. You see, Ojo. when you cannot wait, you give birth to Ishmael and we come and fight your promise. You mm. come and fight what Isaac has come to do. Hey! What are you doing here? Why are you not resting? Beloved, are you sending me away? Is there anything wrong if I come to say hello to my beautiful darling wife? You are a dead man. You are dead already. And there is no fellowship between the dead and the living. <sighs> what are you harsh on me? What have I done wrong to you? Leave me alone and go back to rest. Where are you, Ash? I said leave me alone and go back to your rest. Okay. Mm. Okay, I will go. <sighs> but I have a gift for you. Eh? Never. God forbid. I will never accept any gift from you. No. Are you rejecting a gift from your husband? <laughs> you are not my husband. You are a thief. Yes, you are just stealing my husband's body and I cannot be manipulated. But this is not true, my dear, my sweetheart. How your husband? No, you are the spirit of graveyard, the gatekeeper of the grave. I cannot be deceived. How dare you? You intend to deceive me? Oh no, let me ask you this question. Have you heard of that man called Jesus who died as a man and was buried in the grave? So, uh, what is the big deal about his death? Good question. The big deal about his death is he died and rose again on the third day. Now tell me, have you ever seen any man who died and lived again like him? Sweetie, what does that imply? Good. It implies that he cheated you guys. He cheated you guys. Yes, <laughs> he was buried, but the grave could not hold him. So he rose again on the third day and he came back alive. Because he rose again on the third day and you could not hold him back, that has qualified him to have access to the keys of death and hell. 
we gave you that information. So he has given me the keys. Yes. And because Jesus died and rose again, therefore every pronouncement of death over my life is cancelled in the name of stop Jesus. It, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You are under a covenant. Oh, you forgot. You forgot that he was buried. And before he was buried, the covenant, every evil covenant, has been nailed to the cross. And he died and was buried to shut your voice forever. Ah! Therefore, I silence you forever ah! in the name of Jesus. Ah! <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Nakanda Labosh Antonia Bozaika. Thank you, Jesus. The covenant of death is broken. The stage of death is broken. Hallelujah. Kando na mozahi kanto niabo shatoya. Christ's resurrection's power. The blood of Jesus has said to this. Hey, kanto nima zuhando lekebo. Keeper of the grave. The glitonous eater that never gets satisfied. What is it? The how revelation. They know the resurrection code. They know he has the duplicate keys of hell and death. So they can also get dead and live. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Who told them? Our strength is gone again. The greatest catastrophe of all time is that the son of mine died. And his death couldn't have been the problem except that he rose up again. That is our setback. Is the covenant broken? The covenant with the grave. You should know better. It was nailed to the cross. The covenant and the cause was transferred to the man that was hanging on the cross. That's not all. What about the... Shh. Who knows if he's correctly showing this today? We will do that in quotes. Jesus. 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 Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Christ's resurrection power. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I cancel every covenant of death over my life. In the name of Jesus. I cancel every covenant of death over my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I plead the blood of Jesus to break every covenant of death over my life. In the name of Jesus. The covenant of death is broken. The covenant of death is broken by the blood of Jesus, by the resurrection power, in the mighty name of Jesus. I am free indeed. I am free indeed, in the name of Jesus. This is a great testimony of believers, world. Congratulations. You see, the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. is a great mystery mm -hmm. that a lot don't know about. Mm -hmm. It is a good principle to combat with the spirit of the grave. You're right. You are right. Exactly. But wait, oh. Where is Philip? Mm, I think he should be with Collins. Collins demanded his presence the right time to ask for some questions. Oh, really? Mm. <laughs> I will kill you today! I will kill you today! See your last prayer! See your last prayer! I will kill you today! Please don't kill me, I beg of you, please! Say your last prayer or I stab you down! Please, you will want to cut for my head. Don't try to kill me, please, God, please! 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 I am not calling! I am the power of the good! Oh, you are operating with Connie's body. Is that not biological assassination and death? I have been in his body since he was born. I am not only family. Now that I know who you are, the equation is simple. I thought I was communicating with Collins, not knowing how I was communicating with spirit. 
It's obvious. Because Bro John said you are an illegal occupant of earth. Because you have no body. Hello! 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 Enough of this conversation. Be ready to join us at the gate of the grave so your body can be used too. If I have the grave, where is your victory? You have been cheated because Jesus came down to your gate into the 80s. And you could not stop me. So therefore, you cannot stop me because I have got the keys. Oh, I fear you. Today is your life. Jesus Christ lives so I live. And through his resurrection, I have power over you. In Jesus' name, Braja! 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 Bro John! John! Why do you lock the door, Bro John? What do you want? What can you give? Please. What's your problem? Bro John, he's not calling. He's the gatekeeper of the grave. Open this door! Mom, Jude, please stop banging the door. We need you to start praying there. The prayers there is more important than the anxiety. Get kicked out of the grave. What do you want? To fulfill my mission, to kill my mother, and send her back to the death of the grave since she got me there. Oh, that's true. The gate. Lift up your head, O ye gate, and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come here. <laughs> Who's the gates? The me, the king of the gates. You must be joking. In the name of Jesus, O God, it has been, O Lord. O God, it has been. Fight us, fight us, Lord. Lord, who are not all of you? Who are not all of you? Who are not all of you? In the name of Jesus, He has ransomed me from the power of the grave and redeemed me from death. He is your plague and destruction. O Sia Tati for me. No, sir. Now the God of you keep quiet. Now you keep quiet. You are standing before the first heaven. And so I decree and declare that by the resurrection power of Christ, your whole Macaulay's is destroyed in Jesus' name. The veil of the table was torn from the top to bottom and the grave were opened. So I decree and declare that everything you have swallowed up be released now in Jesus' name. Why we were talking, and he bounced on me. This battle is not yet over. You are the target. You are the one they want to break down. Oh, I reject it for her. I reject it for you in Jesus' name. Then it means you have to pray. You must be able to pray. I will not allow that. She has a legal binding with me. She came to the gate for the child. We initiated the spirit of the child with the graveyard spirit. And we must kill the mother. Of course, these are all your rights. You did not go to them. They came to the gate. I am with you on this. Just call her name at the gate. Once she answers, that's all. Are you really sure? Can I get an access to a spiritual monitor? She's just going to the church. Praying but no fire. Call her. She has All right, my keeper. I shall be back shortly. I'm a Christian. I read my Bible every day. I go to church and I pay my offering and my tithe. 
<laughs> you see, all those things are just religion. That's religion, mere religion. That's moral. And not real experience with Christ. Has there ever been a time you've confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? I mean, you've given your life to Jesus and you've been washed by the blood? Mm, not really. I just know that I'm a Christian. Oh. And um, I don't wish anybody evil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a plain heart, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's good, but sincerely, you need to be born again. You need to be born again and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. And that one needs to be urgent. I'm ready. Mm. I mean, is it not obvious that I need Jesus? Mm. If not for you and your family that God has been using for me, what would I be saying by now? Let's give glory to God, my sister. Thank God. We thank God. I don't even know what comes over me. I don't like the way I grow wide and restless. I still even enjoy my mother and myself after all. It looks so wild and awful. The way you, you, you behave, any time that spirit comes on you. Collins, if I may ask, what exactly do you want? I want his rest. I want peace. That you can just jump on me any time. As I even speaking, it's so frustrating. I want to rest. You see, rest can only come from salvation. I mean by being born again. Because Psalm 62 verse 1 says, Truly, my rest comes from God. And my salvation mm. from Him. Mm. I definitely need this salvation. Mm. Not having this salvation is very risky. Yes. Oh, that's in God. My own case is somehow similar to yours, but God gave me rest. According to Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, the Lord said there, He said, Come unto me, all ye who are weary and are burdened, I will give you rest. Even the Bible says, How shall we escape if we neglect this so great salvation? I want to escape, I want to be free. I want to live a life of confidence, not an embarrassing life. I need the rest. Then let's pray. See after me. My Lord Jesus. My Lord Jesus. I am sorry for all my sins. I am sorry for all my sins. I thought I knew you. I thought I knew you. But now I have realized how much of you I need. But now I have realized how much of you I need. Please forgive me, please forgive me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Come into my life. Come into my life. I believe you died for me. I believe you died for me. With my mouth, I With confess you. With my mouth, I confess you. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I am saved. I am saved. I am born again. I am born again. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Congratulations, colleagues. Thanks. You have just subscribed to rest. And as you gradually hold on to him, you shall continually find rest unto your souls in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. this Bible. Uh, I can't remember I left it closed. Eh? 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 Hebrew, no? Hebrew! Hebrew, eh? Hebrew! Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew. Ah! Hebrews 4! Ah! Uh, oh, Philip! Philip! That boy, eh? So he just came to this house and he did Philip. Ah, where was I? So I was just quickly came and went like that within a few minutes. Hebrew. Ah, hey. Hello, Philip. Hello, Dad. Ah, ah, ah. How many minutes? How many minutes? Just quickly dashed into the house and left again. He just came to, to, to open the Bible to Hebrews. Why, why couldn't you just call me inside that you are allowed to do before you, before you left home again? Just came, open, open the Bible to Hebrews 4 and just left like that. 
Is there any problem? Because I didn't come home at all. Don't, 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 don't be playing jokes with me. Don't be joking. I'm your father. I'm your father. You came inside, opened the Bible to the, the, the book I've been searching for for, 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 for how many days now? Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. It must be the Holy Spirit though. Remember I told you that when the help of man is absent or unavailable, the Holy Spirit can take things up. Ah, Holy Spirit. Can the Holy Spirit open Bible? I told you, you are not alone. Sometimes, when the Holy Spirit needs your attention, it can program some disappointment in your life so that you can be able to lean on him with them. Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit open Bible to Hebrews chapter 4. Ah, ah, ah. Dad, what is in the 16th verse? Doctor, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. <laughs> Let us now come boldly to the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy and find grace in the time of need. You did that. The Holy Spirit will teach you. Throne of grace. Throne of grace. Please subscribe. Congratulations, Mrs. Jokes. Thank you, thank you, Lord John. I would just need to share a few things now that you received. Okay. And then uh, also to tell Collins that affliction will not rise again the second time. Amen. 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 And I want you to understand mm. that you are no more the hood woman. What's your name now? Uh, my name is um, Gloria Jokes. Good. You are no more the hood Gloria. Mm. You are now a new Gloria. You have been bought with your price. Yes. You're already hidden in Christ. Mm -hmm. So if anything must happen to you, it must happen to Christ first. Mm -hmm. I like this new arrangement and relationship. So I am a new glory now. Exactly. Hey. Exactly. Hey, thank God. <laughs> thank God. So John, what about me? Am I a new colleague too? Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. According to Hebrews, you have put up the old callings, you have put on the new callings, which after God has created in righteousness. I'm so happy. It's just as if I started living. Mm, that is the mystery of the joy of salvation. You mm. see, that is the joy that comes upon anyone that just gives their life to Christ. So, um, how can we grow more and know God more? Mm, exactly. Yes. Well, maybe maybe for now you'll be joining us in our morning devotion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that you get to grow and uh, know more of God. And honestly, just believe. Just believe that everything around you is turning around for good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Honestly. And paraventure if the devil shows up, okay. if he raises his ugly head and stares at you, you let him know that yes, you're a new creature. Yes. All days have passed away, and everything has become new. That this is the new you. Huh? This is the new you. Yes. 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 Ah, I'm so I'm so thankful oh, thank that God. I have you as neighbors. You're coming to this house as being a blessing to us. Thank you so much. Eh? Oh, thank God. Ah, at least thank God. Our other neighbors are usually not around. Oh, other neighbors. Oh, yes, we have other neighbors, oh, yeah. but they traveled. Oh. Mm. I'm sure they'll be back soon. That's true. Yes, yes. Well, that's, that's, that's very good. We're happy. Yeah, we thank God for what God is doing. Yeah, We're happy with this new arrangement. Let us pray. Let us pray. <laughs> When I call you Hansa, Gloria! Gloria! So which of the Gloria are you calling? The old Gloria or the new one? Okay, the old Gloria! Well, if that is the case, the old Gloria is dead. 
she's no longer available here. Okay, the new Gloria. The new Gloria. She doesn't live of herself, but of Christ. She has been hired and bought with a price. She has been crucified with him. Yes, she's eating in Christ that is eating in God. How do you mean? It means if you must call for the new Gloria, then you must call for Jesus Christ. If Jesus Christ comes, then I will come. You came to the grave to ask for your shine. So you have a covenant that is binding. That, that, is, that is the old Gloria. And this here, I, I am the new Gloria. I am the new Gloria. And I don't know what you are talking about. So go and find the old Gloria. I need to sleep. No! Why is he shouting? Eh? I'm not the old Gloria. I am the new Gloria. I have been bought with a price. I am eating in Christ. Who is eating in God? Jesus died and lived again to shut their voices out, any demonic voice, from the gates of the grave, calling my name and virtues to the death. Go dump in Jesus' name. Says this throne. Who do I see? Who do I talk to? Let us come boldly, with boldness to the throne of grace, that we might obtain mercy and find grace to help. Hello, Cynthia. I'm waiting for you here. We need to talk. Oh, you're almost here. All right. You scared me with your long voice into on WhatsApp. What have I done? Tolu, it was actually you that scared me. Because I don't know what happened to you guys. The same question I keep asking myself. I have risen and racked my brain to find if there is any. But I can't find one. What is the problem? You see, the Lord has revealed me to you. That you are engaged to another sister. Okay. And the sister saw me. And told me to move away from you. Engage? Sister? That can't be true. I don't have anybody in my life right now except you. Would you even say the truth? Of course not. I don't even expect the truth from you. Cynthia. Hey, maybe we'll discuss this later. It's so over between us. Don't do this to me, Cynthia. Ah. Leave him alone. Let him go. 
city and I will leave you alone. I will return you to wherever I have picked you from. Hello? Hello, Mr. Atulu, how are you doing? See, save your greetings. I don't need them. What is the problem? Your, your voice looks, sounds weeping. What is the problem? Don't ask me stupid question. I give you 24 hours to come and pick the idiot you dropped in my place. That's too harsh. What is the matter? Your God has done more wickedly to me. So he or you does not deserve any kind gesture from me. Come and pick that idiot now. Wait. God is not wicked. What exactly is the matter? God is a blackmailer. He's a liar. He's a cheat. See, I think I will need to see you urgently. Something is wrong with you. I, I, will come, I'm, I will come to your place now. You can't come urgently. I have a place to go right now. Come in the evening and come with your ambulance, your rope, anything you just like. And come and take this idiot from my place. Oh, you are not around. I, I, I will come in the evening. No problem. He must be passing through a serious moment. Those words were too harsh. See, I think I really need to visit him now. Because, oh, bro, John, will you follow me? Bro, John, won't you say something? I beg, give me words. Let me go with something divine. Those words he said on the phone were too harsh. He was calling God a liar. Then warn him. Warning against blasphemy. Whatever he cannot say to his father or to any authority, he should not say that to God. He must have been really depressed or disappointed about something. But there is no situation or temptation that might have happened to him that is not common to man. First Corinthians 10 13. So what's the big deal? For it says, God will not tempt any man with anything he will not be able to bear. Then it simply means he can bear it. Instead of him getting hungry at God, let him be hungry at the situation. You see, the same energy that is channeling towards getting hungry at God, let him channel that energy and that anger through the situation and the problem. Bro, John, I need to go. All right, I'll go with you. Hmm. Philip, when last did you speak with your dad? That was the last time you called. Ah, huh. Long time before you in the Huh? Okay. Rotulu. Rotulu. Where's your ambulance? Where are your robes? Ah, what ambulance? Which robe? See, can you please calm down? Just pick your patient away from my custody and go. I've tried enough. But why? Why? Why did such conclusion? Why? Why do you just instigate this recent decision? Nothing. I have tried. I have tried on my possible best. Let him go. Call God a liar. You said some derogatory words about God. Yes. I can say that over and over again. Why will he create me and make life difficult for me? God makes life easy for everyone. Wait, what really happened? Is it because of your marital delay? Is it because you have no woman in your life? If it was that, I would understand. At least, I've been waiting since all these years. Now, I'm already 36. But the idea of lying against me will not be acceptable. Can you just calm down and explain there yourself? There is absolutely nothing to explain. <sighs> Why would God lie on you? <sighs> That is so unfair. Very unfair. Can you imagine? Everything between us has been good. Until a few hours ago, she said the Lord revealed to her that I, that I have another woman I am keeping. And I'm a liar. That should go away from me. Does, does God want me to marry him? Is that it? Is that it, brother? Wait, who would you believe? Is it God or your ex? She's not my ex. She's my fiance. But he just said she left you. She's going nowhere. She will return by the grace of God. I will not. Calm down. See, calm down. God is not a liar. He cannot give you anything that he cannot keep. You hear me? Please calm down. Maybe your ex does not know the meaning of that dream. Or probably she has tried to come up with something so that she can run away from you. Help me if you want me to help you. I told you, my head, I on this same table. 
God will help us all. He will systematically review the problem in the family to us. And we are committed to solve it. Thank you. Praise God. Hello, Dad. How have you been doing? <laughs> the throne of grace. Who is seated on it? Jesus, the Son of the Living God. The King of Grace. Why is it called the throne of grace? Uh, the throne is meant to give judgment, right? Okay. To exercise power and authority. But why is this one called the throne of grace? That is the biggest and the most valuable throne that has ever lived and existed. It is called the throne of grace because it is the throne that's made for all women and men, especially for the broken hearted, the weak, the worn out, the downcasted, and the helpless. Anybody, anybody. Anybody. Offenders don't appear boldly. They won't come before the throne by themselves. Except they are caught and brought there. How then? Offenders, sinners, condemned, how will they come boldly? That is why it is the throne of grace, a throne where no one is condemned or acquitted. It is a throne of come as you are, just come. Hmm. The throne of grace. Huh? I would like to pay that throne a visit. Where is this throne located? Is it in Jerusalem? The throne was built and commissioned the very day the blood of sacrifice touched the ground at Golgotha. The day it was said it is finished, it was not only said that was finished though, the throne construction was also finished. It was his death that gave him the ticket. To even sit on the phone, let me stop here, I can feel a deep hurt for revelation. Words are full to my ears. I'm somehow finding satisfaction in your words. Uh, please don't stop talking, my son. Please don't stop. We have not answered my question. I said, where is this throne located? Where are you, Dad? I'm at home. Where exactly? In the living room. Good. The throne of grace is there. Have you ever heard of a throne that can be everywhere at every time? Have you heard of a throne? That has been called into consciousness by just anybody. Just anybody. The throne is there. Philip, <laughs> please don't stop talking to me. You mean the throne is here with me? Dad, can you kneel down where you are? Say after me. I kneel before the throne of grace. I cast my crowns before the highest royalty. Dad, continue from there. You are already before the throne. I really want to appreciate you, ma. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ma, <laughs> there is life and there is life. <laughs> <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> it just feels like I wasn't living before. Mm. Like I just started living now. Wow. wow. Yes. Ah, thank you, ma. Oh, we thank God. God be praised. You see, that is the life of Christ. Mm. Honestly, that is the life of Christ. Anyone who does not have Christ has not lived. Your experience is summarized in the book of First John chapter 5, verse 12, which mm -hmm. says, He who has the Son mm -hmm. has life. He who does not have the Son of God has no life. So you're saying that it's possible for somebody to be living and yet is not living. <laughs> yes, yes, it is very possible. Exactly. But we thank God that we are living. Mm -hmm. And that is why any sacrifice we offer to our God is called a living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. But any sacrifice offered by any sinner unto God oh, mm -hmm. is automatically called a dead, a dead sacrifice. sacrifice. That is, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Hello. I don't understand what is going on around me now. Has it? Everything is just changing. Changing. <laughs> what about it? What is happening? Let us know. For instance, you see, I have gotten three contacts for jobs. 
I don't even know the one to choose. <laughs> People are just asking for my account details here and there, and they've been sending me money. <laughs> ah, wow, these are great testimonies, though. As in, People really want to associate with me now, mm. unlike before. You know now, in fact, I can't even explain. Oh, congratulations, oh, ma. Ma. congratulations, ma. Congratulations, ma. Thank you so uh, much. This is good to know, and I enjoy the tea. Mm. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Bro, John, won't you say something? I know you guys will come for me. Must I talk? You, you must, must talk. talk. Oh. You must talk. Yes, you must talk. Because any little word from you, they are not just words. Uh -huh. They are hot chances. I congratulate you, mom. Thank you. But you know what? I know how all these things happened. Eh? Uh, ah, uh, really? Yeah, tell me. I want to know. They were released at the gates of the grave. Hmm. You see, the favor of many people are no more in heaven. Hmm. Many people paid for favor influence destiny helpers it has been released from the kingdom of god to their hands and maybe for a while they enjoyed it for maybe two three days or even a month but due to carelessness or allegiance to demonic pattern mm. these things are called to the gate of the grave mm. those people now continue to preach god god bring my favor and the gatekeeper of the grave keep laughing because he has received that favor mm. and this in his own custody. Aye. It takes the restoration power to call those things back to life. Will they bury it before? Hmm. You see, it is not only human beings that are called to the gates of the grave. Your favor can be called and buried. Your influence can be called and buried. Your marital joy can be called and buried. Your relationships can be called and buried. And once that happens, the owner or the person begin to live life as if God does not exist. That is deep. So, so, so deep. Like, um, 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 that we have to be angry because people are suffering under the influence of the gatekeeper of the grave. I can feel Kairos here. Let's, I'm paired up. Let's shout this loud and clear. Every of my virtues. Every of my virtues that has been called to the gate of the grave it has been called, been called to, to the gate of the grave by Christ's resurrection by power by Christ's resurrection power I call it back to life I pray in Jesus' name every, every of my virtues every of my glory every of my testimony that has been called to the gate of the grave by Christ's resurrection power the greatest principle I call it back to life now in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus' name they will pray. Amen. Listen, the same way they called you, you can also call it back. There are two people that have the authority to talk about this influence and favor. Favor was meant for you, but due to demonic influence, the gatekeeper of the grave called it and buried it. But you are the owner, and due to the principle of resurrection, you can also call it back. So resurrection now is the key to call back everything that is dead. So you're going to decree silence loud and clear. I call out my favor. I call out my favor. I call out my influence. I call out my influence. I call out my testimony. I call out my testimony. I call out my lifting. I call out my lifting. That has been buried at the gate of grave by Christ's resurrection power. Rateke lebo shatara bolaba. Rateke lebo shekete lebo shatara. I call it out. I call it out. I call it out. My ministry testimony, my ministry lifting, my desires, my needs, my joy, my destiny helpers. I call you forth by Christ's resurrection power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And that I mean him and his power of his resurrection. And you see, that was altered. After 13 years that Apostle Paul has been in ministry, mm -hmm. if you think that the principle of Christ's resurrection power is a joke, think again. Mm -hmm. That's a very strong, powerful mystery. It's resurrection power. Mm -hmm. I call you back now in Jesus' name. Please subscribe.
Runke. Runke. Ha. Okay, where do you think you're going now? Going to a place of rest, of course. Okay. I am fed up. Look at me. See what my life has become since I go to this house. And how does that supposed to be my problem? Eh? How am I responsible for that? I don't know. I mean, I'm just out of everything. Richard, I'm a master's degree holder. And also from a well-to-do family. Look at me. Take a look at me. See how I look like a rejected and forsaken child. Wait, wait. How, how is that my offense? How is that my offense? Your offense is you refuse to take any step. I tell you to go to your family and ask them questions so that we will at least know what the problem is. But you wouldn't do that. Okay. 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 We will continue to pray till we get solution. Pray? On what? On faulty foundation? Please tell me. Tell me exactly what you want us to pray about. Okay. Okay, darling. I promise I will take the necessary step at the appropriate time. Okay? Okay. Okay. When you have done the needful and you have valid information about what is happening in your family, you can call me back. Till then, good day. Hey, no, 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 you won't do that. No, 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 Richard, something is wrong with you. No, no. Something is wrong with you. Runke. Runke. You know how much your dad and I have labored on you? Eh? Every one of you, our children, is second degree older. Sinuola, your elder sister, is now a PhD older. And we thank God. Every one of them is doing great in their different fields. Except you. You that went to marry a bad husband. Mama, my husband is not bad. It's just his people I perceive to be evil. What is the difference? There is no difference at all. He's not bad. But he's people. As a responsible mother, I can't keep him in my house. You have to go back to your husband's house. I can't go to that house. That place is hell. Nonsense. And I remember Fifi Bill, that I warned you not to marry that man. What you said is God's will. Abby? It is well. All I want him to do is to go and see his people so that they can at least tell us where the problem is. None of the women they married in their family is okay. We are just living in fear. <laughs> Is that, is that not enough for you to know that that family is evil? Eh? One of the most brilliant of my children. Ah! See what marriage has turned you into. Eh? Everything will be alright. Everything will be alright, Mom, I believe. I know. Ah! 
Ah! Oh. I think it's high time I faced my dad myself. My wife was right. Huh? All of us in Oweye family, we are just in trouble. My brother's wife is not fine. Everybody is dead, so to speak. Enough is enough. No, enough is enough. Somebody must be ready to face my dreadful father. We, we, we cannot continue like this now. Okay. I think I'll face him. Yes, I, I think I'll face him. makes meaning nothing else matters to me for now we oh Lord is your throne of grace I, I am waiting I want to I want to experience your throne of grace to experience your throne of grace. I kneel before it. Bring your throne, Lord. I'm waiting. I'm waiting, Lord. Uh, Hello. From where? From Ibadan. What are you here to see? Um, Mr. Way. Mr. Way, does he know you are coming? Well, I am not a visitor. He's my father-in-law. I am his, his son's wife. Uh, even at that, um, he doesn't allow his children to visit him. So please, oh, his children's wife. I, I don't think you can see him. Ah, please, allow me. I need to see him. It's very urgent. Please. Okay, you know what? I will allow you to see him. I will just tell him somebody from me back there. Maybe when you see him, you can find out maybe he's from you, you or whatever. Do you Please come and see Thank you. Come that on. will be better. Thank come you. Come Thank on. you. Come on. Hello? 
Hello. Hello, sir. Hey, there's somebody here to see you, sir. Let her come. Okay. Okay. All right, sir. Yes, thank you. He wants to see you. Oh, thank you. But you have to have a first. Thank you. I'll just wait for this. Yes, thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Stand up. Stand up. Thank you, sir. Are you the visitor that come to see me from Ibada? Yes, sir. I am wrong here where your son. Ah, okay. What did you come to do? Yes, sir. My my husband. I am sorry, sir. I, I need prayer, sir. I guess you don't have anything to say. Do I look like a pastor? I am very sorry, sir. That was a slip of tongue, sir. I came to see you. You are seeing me? Wait, did you tell your husband that you are coming to see me? Uh, yes. And no, I didn't. I came on my own, sir. Oh, I thought as much. Go on. Sir. There is, there is a lot of problem in my family that is not palatable, sir. I've been having nightmares of people running after me, saying that I am eating blood and that the foundation of this family is built on the blood of the innocent people, sir. Okay, go on. I'm listening. Yes, sir. I came to ask for your help, sir. Am I the one you are seeing in your dream? Do they mention my name as part of those who kill innocent people? No, that's not what I'm saying, sir. I thought since you are our father, that you'll be able to shed more light on the issue, sir, so that we, you can provide solutions, sir. Leave my house. You have overstayed your welcome. I, I do not allow family to come into this house. <sighs> sir. Aren't you supposed to welcome your children? I mean, are you happy with everything that is happening around us? Leave before I change my mind. Good luck. Sir. Good luck. Yes, sir. Good luck. Yes, sir. sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Take her out. Sir. in my entire life. <laughs> and I said it. Okay? I want you <laughs> not to marry this man. <laughs> Even on engagement and wedding day, he wore straight face. But... <laughs> ah. Now I know that indeed there is a fire on the mountain. No wonder Richard cannot go to his father. I do agree with you because it's obvious that these people they don't care about your welfare and they can do anything to get you out of their lives. Mama, mm -hmm. my father in law practically sent me out of his house. Huh? What about his wife? Have you forgotten that he has no wife? It's obvious that a person like that cannot keep a woman. 
Bro, <laughs> 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 John. See, what are we really going to do about this mental manager? See, he's really depressed. Well, I really don't know what to say about him for now. But um, he truly had that dream of seeing someone telling her that she's his wife. Then there is more. Mm, I know there is more. I know there is more. But, uh, Bro John, if you can just talk to him, I know with that, he could be encouraged or probably plan a discussion with his fiancée. It's, it's, it's not a small issue, but we'll try time to try and go and visit him and then when I hear one or two words from him, you know, possibly the Holy Spirit might want to say one or two things. See, I am really concerned because he's the one helping to take care of scam. No, he's the one. Amen. Hello, sir. Hello, Richard. How stupid and gullible could you be? Have you gone on? Are you really ready for my fury? So, 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 sorry, I don't understand, sir. What have I done wrong? How could you? How could you allow your wife to come into my house? My house. I, I, I'm, I'm very, very sorry, sir. I, I'm really, really sorry. She didn't tell me she was caught. Oh my God. I, I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry, sir. I, I will make amends, sir. Am I responsible for everything going on in your family? It is dangerous for her. Whatever that might have transpired between both of you. Don't let it come to my table. Sir, sincerely, I, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Daddy. I, I'll make amends, sir. Nonsense! What is wrong with you, okay? What is wrong with her? Why, why would she... I don't know what is wrong with her. Huh? I'm doing all this to protect her and she's doing this to me. Imagine, nobody's not going to... Oh. Oh. Mike. Mike. Who's that? Oh, where is this coming from? This, this light is too bright. I can't, I can't even see anything. What's this light? They looked at him and were lighting, and their face were not ashamed. Is that a throne? The throne of grace? Is this the throne? Was that how long you can wait on me to see my face? I did not come because you are a saint. I came because you seek after me. I search for the seekers. Poor me. Poor me, I slept off. After waiting and waiting, I slept off. You didn't know it was your body that slept. Your spirit was still very much alive in my presence. Your spirit was thirsty. What did you want? Ah, what do I want? What do I want? I don't even know what I want. What do I want? I'm illuminated. I have the spirit of understanding. My face is lightened. Ah, Jesus, I'm lightened. Ah, ah, God, Lord. I need to keep seeking.
you. The throne. I've seen the throne. I've seen the throne of grace. Wrong, okay? Lunke, have you spoken to your husband since the time you returned from his father's house? No, I haven't. Why? Eh? I am not interested. Though he has been sending me DMs and messages, but I ignore them all. That should not be now. You have to speak to him. Is he the one calling you? Yes, he's the one. Hey, answer him. Make his call. Hello? Uh, hello, dear. I am not your dear. Okay, what is wrong with you? Why are you proving so stubborn? You taught me to be. I'm sorry, okay? Can you come home so that we can settle this amicably? Is that question supposed to be directed to me? Ah, we don't care why all this. Why? See, I, I take responsibility for all my errors. Please, will you come home? See, I am not coming back to the house. Since I've been here, there have been no nightmares. I've been sleeping like a baby. So I am not coming back. Please, leave me alone. Good day. Ronke? Ronke? Kai, she hung up. Not again. Oh. Ronke? Take it easy with him. You have to take it easy. Eh? This is not your final bust of all. Ah, uh ah, -uh, no. Don't think that I will allow you to stay here for long. Because you have to go back to your husband's house. You have to go back. Oh. You have to go back to him. Even if you send me out, I will not return to that place. My survival is paramount. Jude. I do hope you are doing something about the Prince of Tyros because you cannot obviously go back to Scam without having the right information to engage when you meet him again. Yes, I now know Tyros. Tyros is not a person. Mm. Yeah, it's a system that is meant to invade all the children of disobedience. Mm. <laughs> you know what that means? Dude! Dude! What? Well done, no way. <laughs> But you see, I want to know more about this Prince of Tyros. And by the way, I am resuming at my place of work very soon. Congratulations, ma'am. Thank you. And as for me, I think for some reasons, I need to go and see my father at home. Mm. Mm. That's yes. very thoughtful of you. Mm -hmm. I was about to say that because for a while, you did not take the ring. You left him for a long time. No. No. I left him with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hello, ma. Hello. How are you doing, ma? What's the matter? I didn't even hear about it. Ah, what about Oga? But why, ma? Why? Oh, no, of course, you have a choice. You only decided to do what you want. But you have to go back home. You have to. It is the devil that is setting this tragedy so that there will be a disagreement between both of you. And that will not make you to be able to face the EU on Grand. You have to go back home. And when you go back, I will find time to come and visit and hear from you. Hmm? All right. Thank you. And who was that? That's my boss's wife. I think they have a little disagreement. But she should not leave her husband's house. She should not leave her home. Please, John. You need to find time and go there to see these people. You need to go. So I'm putting the baton back to you. I believe that God will help you. God will help you. Don't change your eyes. <laughs> that is why you are in this family. I believe God will help you to counsel them, to pray with them, 
to resolve this crisis. Yeah. I will just only go there and hear from them and, you know, just visit them. But I believe God to help you. You know, you are more mature. Joe. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. uh -huh. that's, that's what? That's Maybe true. I'll take you along when we are going. I know, you know, he has you with a mentor. Ah. <laughs> Send that piece. Ah, 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 oh my God. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, who is it? Daddy. Ha! Philip! <laughs> Philip! Daddy! Philip! I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you. Daddy. Oh my God. Daddy, I had the plan to come already. Uh -huh. Not until you called and you told me that you had something beautiful to share with ah, you. Ah! The throne of grace. <laughs> the throne of grace. It is, it is an experience every believer must visit and experience. <laughs> throne of grace. That the worry really ah, I was here. Mm -hmm. I was kneeling down. Mm -hmm. I was here. I knelt here. Yeah. Ha! Don't agree. <laughs> Philly. Let you come down and tell me this thing. What the really experience happened? I had. I cannot be I cannot be calm. I cannot be good to, to I, 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 I want to bust out. I want to, <laughs> I want to bust. Philip, I was kneeling down here. Mm -hmm. I raised my hand. I raised my hand and I was praying. I was begging God. I was saying that the children of grace come to me here. You know you told me. Yes, I that remember. The can come to anyone anywhere. Yes, I, I remember. Was, oh God. I was standing up. I was praying. I was praying. I was saying, God, let it all come here. And then after a while, I was I was there for, <laughs> for, for one day and the up to the night. And then I stepped off. Off. And I saw the light. I saw a great white light, Philip. I saw the light. And, I, and it was so blinding, I could open my eyes. And I saw a great white stone here. When I was sleeping, it was like someone said, Mike, Mike. Mm -hmm. Then I opened my eyes. I saw that great white light. I couldn't open my eyes. It was blinding. Yeah, the express happened here. Oh, Jesus, I couldn't open my eyes. I, I don't even know what to see. As like, I struggled to open my eyes. I saw a great white throne. Huh. I don't even know what to see. Like, I, what really now happened at the throne of grace? Philip, that God, John. Philip, God, John. Hey, God, this is really serious was, and funny at the same time. Let them my, come my, year, my God, something deep. My God, I realized that 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 experience in um, um, uh, 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 Hebrews four sixteen. That is just the first part. Ah, okay. There is something deeper. I will still sit down to study the second part. Oh God, hello, brother John. The true. Of course. Hey, you need to see what happened to. Mm. Hey, like, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. Please subscribe. There is fire on the mountain. Everything you said is what it is. Like, there is serious fire. And he refuses to hone up. He's being placid about the whole matter. Oh? This is a serious issue. If your father actually treated her that way, then there is serious cause for that. Okay, I, I agree. I agree with you. Just, sincerely, I believe it was God that rescued her that day. Going to my father's house? Smart way. Eh? It's a no-go area. None of us, I mean none of us, even my brother's wife, dares it. But she could go there and come out. I believe it was just good. Because he doesn't want anybody around him at all. But, but why is that? Well, well, I cannot tell. I don't know too much. But who more has it that um, the death of my mom has something to do with him? I heard that he used her for sacrifice. Yeah! <laughs> And in soup, bro John, this is not the kind of matter you should keep quiet. Please, don't keep quiet. 
No wonder I had various dreams and nightmares. Huh. The chance you have given the devil is too much. Oh, you have given the devil a lot of chances. You have to let us know everything about your father. I don't know what you want me to say. Because I, I don't know so much. The day you were sharing the revelation about um, um, a sacrificed, um, I think you said sacrificed graduate or something. I was shocked. Because I, I thought all was over. I couldn't I can't fix anything. Ha. Altars have been built every day. When you talk of altars, when you talk about the things that our fathers have done, altars is not just about what they have done in the time past or the sins and wickedness of our fathers in the time past. Altars are being even built today and can be upgraded. Ha. And what are we going to do now? You see, we are going to pray. Hmm? We have to pray. Mm. After which, you will need to visit your dad again. And this time around, it's not going to be your wife, but you, sir. Who? <laughs> you. Me. The man. You, you, you must be joking. Me. To go to smart way. I ah, lie, lie. Ah, ah. <sighs> the last time I set my eyes on him <sighs> was on our wedding day. Ah, lie, lie. Hey. <laughs> Ah, 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 me? No. You will have to go. Is it not your father? <laughs> this is not a matter to toy with. We have to go to him. And my mother also has a lot to do about this case. She has to be involved in this matter. You have to go, sir. Uh, no, you don't understand. No, no, you don't understand. If the sister truly belongs to you, she will definitely come back to you. I want you to find time to ask for forgiveness from God. It's possible this is a way he wants you to expose something to you. When am I getting married? I'm not getting younger. I have informed my brother about it, and I believe the God dwelling in him. See, let us not just be concerned about how you are going to get married or when you are going to get married. Let's focus on what is causing the delay. Because what is causing the delay may eventually scatter the marriage if you get married. Hmm. See, it is not normal for men of your age to experience what you are experiencing consistently or repeatedly. Neither is it normal for your sisters too. I haven't gone to many conferences. They keep telling me I'm in the waiting room. No, 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 no. See, waiting room exists. Wasting room exists. We have some demons that are called time wasters. Please, pray for me. See, my prayer is meaningless now. Yeah, let us spiritually diagnose the source of this delay. Then we can now know spiritual way to engage. Hmm. I feel lighter. I feel relieved. But please, don't let don't stay too long. All right, it won't be long. Can I see scam? Yes, but it's very careful. Uh -huh. I can go away. No problem. Come, you recognize you again. Of course, you will. Don't forget you are not friends. His name is called Tyros. Ah, what disrespect! I am the prince of Tyros! <sighs> Hope you know that your days are numbered in this place. I did not just come here on my own. It is in alignment to my sister that I drawn me here. <sighs> And alignment to another system you destroy. Then you die. die. 
I welcome each and every one of you to my divine class. We are be sharing a deep mystery of the kingdom called the throne of grace. It's a pity my wife is not here. But when she comes back, she will hear her own version. Daddy, Daddy, why, 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 why are you so few? Is this the best number I can get? Go and call your friends! Call your friends, call your neighbors, call your neighbors. Where is that um, boss that um, offered to give um, Philip scholarship? Call everybody. Let them come and hear this different mystery. You better start with the people you have here. You start with us. What are you talking about? Let them come! Let everybody come. Oh God. Skinder. What are you still waiting for? What are you waiting for? Call everybody! This place must be full. I'm happy to see all of you. I have discovered the finest, the greatest, the biggest throne on earth that ever existed. It is called the throne of grace. It is a mobile throne that can come to anybody that desires grace. I have never seen a throne where the offender comes and is neither condemned. The throne is both for the godly and the ungodly. The throne is just calm as you are. No one never has grows this throne. It is a throne you come to when you are weak. It is a throne where armies and Christian soldiers return to for the fueling and assurance hmm. for the sinner. It is a throne of mercy and pardon. When you are not deserving, go there. Um, please, where exactly is this throne? Because I need it urgently. Everyone is the throne. It is the throne where you visit at your greatest time of need. You just kneel with an anger and cry to God. Say, Heavenly Father, Come home to your throne and begin to tell me why you have come. Bro Mike, what exactly happened to you? Encounter. Has encountered the throne of grace. It was brought here. Here. Right here in my sitting room when I sought it earnestly with a humble heart. I know there are many battles. There are many unanswered questions. But I tell you, the first point of contact is the throne of grace, where you obtain mercy and find grace in the time of need. I really think I need this throne of grace. If it can take anybody in, I need it. Maybe all they now come boldly. Let us begin to communicate to our desires unto him. I told you the mobile tool. It's here with us. The throne is here. Let us begin to communicate our heart's desires. Let us come boldly before the throne of mercy. They might obtain mercy and find grace. Little do you know about the merchandise you're about to buy. What are you talking about? What merchandise? That man you are trying to elope with is my husband. I cannot share him with anybody. I don't do such. I'm not a husband snatcher. They must be mixed up somewhere. Oh, 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 
stupid. You are playing on my intelligence. I speak with excitement. You are one. And what that meaning should be given to that dream? Is this not God's revelation to me? Ask him. Who is Regina? And I just came because he said he had his password. Calm down, sister. Take things easy. No revelation, no result. I mean, for me, I think these are answered prayers. Who is Regina? What kind of life is this? I don't know anybody by the name Regina. I've not even met any lady named Regina. See, at this point, you just have to tell the truth. I yes, am. there is nothing to be afraid of. I you just have to open up. I am telling the truth. And I lie not. I don't know anybody by the name Regina. You see, Pastor, I came from a polygamous family and I know what it means to live in a riotous family. My mom died in the midst of this eating and I cannot gullibly walk myself into another situation again. Calm down. Calm down, sister. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Do you love him? Of course I do. But I cannot love with unrest and trouble. I know she loves me. Cynthia, there is no problem. Lisa, can I be funny? Of course, I'm Thank you. Bro, June, let her go. I think you gave me to beg her. Beg her? Bro, you need to calm down. You need to take things easy. When it comes to the issues of marriage, you do not beg either party mm -hmm. to marry each other. Any marriage, any relationship that the foundation is laid on begging, they continually be sustained by begging. Hmm. Why must we beg her to marry you? For what? Because I'm innocent. We should beg her because you are evil? <laughs> Calm down. Hmm? Brother, God has begun on your case, huh? Jude, let's go. Are you not going to say anything? What do you want me to say? Now, Brother, speaking without revelation is babbling without knowing. Mm -hmm. Just calm down. Let me go and seek. I will come back to you. But at least give me some prayer point. All right. You can pray that God should reveal the hidden secret to you. Like, let your daily dream appear. Mm -hmm. no? That's good. Thank you. Sir, you have to face your father. <laughs> I can't. Ah. No, no, I can't. Hey. I cannot go to the house. If I do, I don't know the outcome. No, I don't. Oh, of course, I know you can't. I mean, you can't go there with this your current version. Because this your current version is already defeated. So you can't. How do you mean, ma'am? You see, anyone who is afraid or lives in fear is already defeated by default. Either our talk will be full of fear. And when fear dominates a man, oh, faith vanishes. And the Bible says, without faith, no man can please the Lord. Yes, it is impossible to please the Lord. So if you are living in fear, definitely it is not possible to please the Lord. That one is automatic. Hmm. And of a truth, I, I want to please the Lord. Unfortunately, with this fear, you cannot please the Lord. See, oh God. Madam, you don't understand. If John is here, we'll have explained better to you. No, it's not possible. You don't know him. You don't know my father. You don't know him. <laughs> Do you know your God? Is your father not a man? You see, the Lord has sent us as witnesses to this earth to defeat the works of the devil. Thank you, ma'am. Don't mind him. It is only in this house and in the company that uses bold face. See, if your father is indeed responsible for what we are going through in this family, you don't have any choice than to face him. <sighs> you see, we will pray. We will prepare. And we shall seek the face of God. But you have to face sin. 
You have to face him. If you don't bind a strong man, you cannot plunder the goods. <laughs> Kai, you, you don't understand. No, I'm sure you don't understand. You don't know about where he's merciless and diabolic. <clears throat> this is what will happen. We will find time to pray together. And I pray that the Lord will reveal the hidden secret to us. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you very much, ma'am. See, whatever it will take, I am ready. Because their wives are the ones facing the bronze. They are doing fine. They are okay. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Hey. Just calm down, my sister. Eh? It is well with you, my sister. Please, just calm down. How will be well? Number one. Hey. I came to check my marriage document with Tolu to check if he's still binding. Hmm. When was this marriage? Since the beginning. And their family succubus. So, it is not just to one, but to all male children in their family. Hmm. The family name? Tolu Lokwe Dade Geshi. It is still bounding, still intact. They are warning, I will kill him. Anytime he tries getting engaged, I have stopped him. He is at ease again. Warning, a marriage has been conducted here. No other marriage must be. Hmm. Sukubos, don't worry. I will get in contact with the keeper of the hotel. You can go. Keep out of the circle. Another urgent information. I hate nonsense. I have legal binding. Oh, I don't waste my life keeping legal documents in vain. Calm down. Please, calm down. Keep out the sacrifice. What is it this time? One of the succubas came to me and she told me she was threatened. She's boiling. She came to confirm their documents. And of course, it is still intact. Whose succubas are you talking about? Tolu's succubas. <laughs> there is no cause for alarm. It is a sexual demon of their father's house. In fact, two of her elder sisters are still looking for men to marry them. Oh! There is judgment! There is punishment! This is the highest caliber of demon! Let them know! <laughs> Have you ever seen anyone who defeats the menace of spirit husband and spirit wife? Even after several supposed deliverance, Harper. They better have this understanding and stick to their relationship because it is binding to death. is that I don't think I understand all this. No, I don't. But you are even so the keeper of the sacrifice. John, what is it? I, I just saw something so disturbing that I don't even have understanding at all. 
The Lord will give you revelation, will give you understanding for it all. Succubus. Having John and his family to come and live here in this house with us has been a tremendous blessing. It's been a great blessing to us. And you've always said that. I must give that to you. Mm -hmm. They brought light. If not, we would still be battling with all these family authors for no reason. <sighs> the throne of grace. The throne of grace. Look, that passage there, Hebrews 4, 16, has become my favorite verse of the Bible. I am happy it was I am meant to give you that passage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. And um, I'm grateful to God for who you are. Thank God. And uh, I have to return to my people. We have a whole lot to do under God. No problem. You can't go anytime. Ah, uh -uh. so you know you must stop me. So you, you will not mess with me again. The absence of man is the presence of the Holy Spirit. Hmm. I need to shut down this room and go back to the other room. I, I desire another encounter. Kai, truly you visited the throne of grace. Mm -hmm. I can see the grace with you. You see, one of the major pieces of evidence we find in the life who has visited the throne of grace mm -hmm. is the sincere and strong hunger for God. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Every single day, I, I desire to know more. Mm. I want to, I want to experience deeper. How to? There's this hunger, this yearning, this thirst to know more. Hmm. Your dream looks somehow. I really don't understand what it means. Ah. Um. You see, when I was growing up, I think I've had people talking about spirit husband. Spirit wife, you know, things like that. Oh, really? Ah, the spirit husband, spirit wife. Can you tell us more about it? Like, is it that the marriage is conducted in the spiritual realm or what? Oh. <laughs> like I said, I said I don't really know much about this. But I've heard people talking about the stuff. That's mm -hmm. just... Then I think we have to pray and seek the face of God so that he can explain these things to us. For us to know more about it, the rules of engaging them, because it's that dream was awful. Sincerely, we need to, because this thing that I said is happening, it's not just happening to Bertolo, mm -hmm. it's happening to all his other sisters that are supposed to be married at matured age, but they are not yet married. The devil is wicked. Honestly. In fact, using the word wicked is an Un understatement. understatement. A lot of Demonic mysteries, spiritual mysteries that many Christians don't know about. Mm. Ah, my people perish for lack of understanding. I thank God for using us in a time like this. Hallelujah. And please, I want you to, in fact, I want us to remember your boss in our prayers. I really need God's revelation concerning their case huh. revelation 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 ah, have you forgotten no revelation no results ah, fakati tolu oh. lokwe ah. tolu what is wrong? I really don't get you on phone. Hey, what were you saying about um, Cynthia? Cynthia is gone. Gone? Ah, uh -uh. What? What killed her? How did it happen? She did not die. Uh -uh. I lost her. We broke up. She yes. said she had a dream that another woman in my life. Another woman? Oh, Jesus. Jesus, what is all these that are happening to us? Fabian and I have been praying. And we've been fasting over this issue that this your current relationship should lead to marriage. So that it will be a template and hope of our own miracle. Now this again. Where is Sister Febe? 
Phoebe has gone to the mountain to pray. See, tomorrow will be the seventh day of a marathon prayer over this issue. And see what's happening now. I'm fed up. For how long? Huh? I thought this would be a success. This has been the longest relationship I've ever had. To Lope. All will be well. Very soon. It's going to be alright. Are you are you really sure about this? I am sure. Because every problem in life has its own expiry date. Although it's not going to be easy. But all is well. Trust me, okay? What about engineer, Koride? Are you guys getting along? Engineer Koride, he stopped calling me. In fact, if I send him text messages, he doesn't reply. In fact, I took my time to see him in his office. Who be that? Are you going? Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Madam, what do you want? Uh, actually, I'm here to see Engineer Akurede. Okay. Yeah. So you don't tell her before you come? Oh, no, not really. Ah. So let be your name. Tell him Hannah. Hannah, okay. Yes. You think I'll be back? Okay, but I'm not a visitor here. I, ah, I've been here no, before. You don't feel enter. No feel enter, no feel enter. No feel enter inside. Like, are you for? You don't feel enter. No feel enter. What is that? How are you? I got one person they asked for you for a bit. From where? What's the name? You see her name in uh, Anna. Average height, fair complexion. Yes, sir. Uh, see, I don't want to see her. Okay? Yes, tell her I'm not around. Okay, sir. Kofi, tell her I have gone out. And do not allow her into the premises anymore. Okay, sir. Is that correct? Yes, sir. You can go. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Code I did not pick up. Message no reply. Don't you get the message? What else do I have to do? It seems I have to block you. Okay, so that way you will get it finally. No sense. Welcome back. Yeah. Can I come in now? Ah, no, no, no. I'll go no dear. What? You know, the hell don't come out. <laughs> wow. So you mean he wasn't around? Ganodia. Be around. But how come you went inside to check if he's in his office or not? If you knew that he was not around. And as a matter of fact, is that not his car being parked there? Madam, I beg you, best. It's my fault. I got no dear around. He don't come out. The car where you see there. The company get him on. The company car, no guess. Alright, you know what? I don't mind waiting for him at the reception. Ah, ah madam, madam, madam. You know not enter. You go call him for food. So if you call her phone, I may call, come back later. So for now, you know if you come with one for the Yeah? All right. It, it's okay. I'm calling. Thank you. Thank you. Madam. Yes. I don't like you. I'm gonna like you again. <laughs> wait, just, just wait. Like, did he tell you that? She had won the lie, me. I just got no day dressed at the game. You mean a core day is inside? No tossing, I me tell you. No tossing, I me tell you. I don't know. No, no. No, no. No, I just do you. I understand. Bye, you can go. Alright. Yeah, go. Thank you. You want to sleep here? Actually, I will go. I will go. Come out now. It looks so new to me. Ah, marriage in the spiritual realm. This devil is a shit. A very big one at it. Or isn't it obvious that every institution the Lord has formed, every system that the Lord has made, is also being copied by him? What is this succubus of a thing? What does it really mean? Ah, succubus is a spiritual wife. Like, more like a female demon, according to understanding. Does that mean that? Anyone who is married in the spirit or spiritually married or married to this succubus of a thing, whatever would, doesn't mean that it will be difficult for them. That is, even if it is possible at all, for them to be physically married. 
It's a serious issue. But what I need to know actually is how do people come in contact with these spirits or span the spirit mm. wife? Is it voluntary? Mm. Is it forceful? Exactly. What be? How are there lifestyles that make one that put one in bondage? Or oh. is it even the issues of authors? What are the rules of engagement mm -hmm. when it comes to spiritual spouses? Because there are so many people who are matured for marriage, both gender, male and female, who are out there but could not get a spouse successfully. And some ladies are there. That the kind of men that see them, they are the married men or a serious men. And eventually, out of frustration and pressure, they give in and get married to them. They get settled with these men at the end of the day. See, it is succubus that is affecting Tolu. Succubus. But how does his fiancée, Cynthia, how does she see a dream of Tolu being engaged in a dream? Why? Do you understand? Ah, the succubus will continue to distract this lady. The succubus can be the one, you know, polluting the dream life of this lady and making the lady to understand that she is engaged to the man. Uh -huh. And through that, the, 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 the man, or let, let me say, through that, the woman will no longer want to go on with the man. It's all succubus. How do we get the spiritual understanding to all of this? That's all our assignment. We need to sit down, to seek and pray, to know the secrets behind these spiritual spouses, so that we can be of help to a generation out there. Get out, you good for nothing girl. Stupid girl. Who is this again? That must be the other neighbor Mom Collins told us about. In this house again? See. Please, let's focus. Let's focus. Let's focus. Sukubos. Let's focus. Let's focus. Let's focus. Idiot. Eh? So no fake bone on it. So no fake bone. Mommy, I'm 33 already. Aren't you ashamed? Are you not worried? What worried about what? Peleo, you are 33. Eh? Mommy, I'm married. Or in their husband's house, starting their own family, even with kids. People of your age, are they not dead? Oh, she are we are one So because your mates are married, they have, they have kids, so they not coming. Mom, I'm your only daughter, I need to set you down. Stop deceiving yourself. You cannot marry another man, I've told you. You cannot. You are married. How do you expect? What do you call that camera? Whoa, 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 Get out and leave my house. Leave my house now. I should leave here. Leave my house. I should leave here. Leave. I should leave here. Go. No problem. I will leave. Wah 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 me wah me. Hello wah me Bele. Wah me carry your bag. You will meet it here. Silly girl. Sit. Ah, what I want to do? Eh? I am thirty three years old. All my mates are married. There is no there is no spouse I bring to her that she will approve. He said she will embarrass me from in front of them and what I chase them away. Uh uh. Gura, all these things that you are saying, I'm aware of it now. We've been living in this compound together. So I'm aware of it. But don't worry, God is in control. She keeps telling me that I'm married to one man that comes to me at night, violating me. One man? Is he your friend? I mean, how, how does he come to you? He's more of a spirit. I'm sorry, I, I don't really understand. Spirit, he comes... Okay, is he a human being that comes like a spirit? I mean, he comes spiritually and physically. I don't I don't understand. Sometimes he comes physically and I think he don't. And this, um, this type, I don't understand it. Because I don't think I've even heard of it before. This is my first time of hearing that a spirit sleeps with a human being and he comes physically and spiritually and your mother said you are married to him oh, that one this one has passed me you know what mm -hmm. have you noticed this our new neighbor these young boys like this they are young but they are hot and they have god inside of them so i will recommend that you go and meet them i recommend that you go speak to them Tell them this problem. I'm sure there, there's, there will be a solution. I don't mind. Just help me. Just help me. Don't worry. I will introduce them to you. 
They are very powerful. They have God at the eye level. Just help me. I don't mind. Help me. Okay. You trespass by coming to my house. You must die. I need blood. Broken, I need blood. I need blood. Jesus. 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 I reject it in Jesus' name. I reject it. My blood is preserved in the name of Jesus. Dear. Dear. Mm -hmm. What is it? What is the problem? What have I done to your family? Especially your father that he wants to kill me. He wants to use my blood to renew his sacrifice, like he did your mother. Ah, what exactly is wrong with you? Look at what is your problem? Why are you putting your mouth in sensitive issues like this? What if I didn't tell you? What's your problem, no? Eh? What is more important than my life? Your father wants to kill me, Abi. He will not succeed in Jesus' name. I saw him. He carried a calabash in front of a mirror. He will not, he will not succeed. Go scatter their blood in the name of Jesus. Ah, Baba, anyone that wants to kill me, that wants to use me to renew his, his sacrifice, no scatter their blood in the name of Jesus. Scatter their blood in the name of Jesus. They will not succeed. I will not die. I will not die. No, I will not die in the name of Jesus. Is there anything that you need to tell us that um, you have not told us? Maybe the things you told my colleagues? That you still need to tell us that we have not heard about the situation. Except that she always told me that I am married to a priest from Bet. A priest? Which priest? I mean, which priest marries a, a child from Bet? You don't know. Mm -hmm. There are lots of evil priests out there. A whole lot of them. There is nothing that we can do of ourselves. There's nothing we can do of our own. You see, our relevance is only in the revelation that we carry. One of the major keys of relevance in what you do is adding revelation about that thing that you do. Mm. That is mm. it. And so, most of the works lies within you. Oh, sir. We will need to pray. We will need to engage ourselves in, you know, I deliverance prayers. Mm. We also need to disengage from this spiritual house that <laughs> is affecting your marital house. See, this this man is so handsome, like so so handsome. You mean the spirits that usually come to fight you all the time? No, he doesn't fight with me. He's very gentle and even patient. In fact. He usually come to beg me not to leave him and cheat on him. Uh -uh. And most time, I usually feel for him. What are you saying, Wura? Huh? <laughs> what are you saying? We have many cases in our hands like that. You see, <laughs> there is no mm -hmm. amount of prayers and deliverance we can do that deliverance can come to her. Ah, yeah, mm -hmm. because it's obvious that she is not ready to leave a spiritual spouse. Mm -hmm. She only wants to, you know, get married out of the shame of not being physically married. Um, it's obvious. I mean, wait, Ura, is it true that you don't want to disengage from this man? Or this spirit, or whatever you call it. He is nice, very gentle, and patient with me. In fact, I don't want to hurt him. Hey, hey, Jude, let's go. Ah, when the colleagues, the colleagues return, get us to greet him. Ah, we find time to sing very well. Ah, a German love. Ah, he's doing good, sir. I don't. Please subscribe. I don't know the kind of dream Cynthia is having. I don't know who is the one preventing me from getting married. What I know is a demonic spirit. I renounce 
every spirit hindering my marital testimony in Jesus' name. I come against every woman or lady, blackmailing my God or the spouse. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I renounce. Jesus, I renounce. I renounce. I renounce. I come against. 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 In the name of Jesus, every power, every lady, hindering my God or the spouse. I renounce. In the name of Jesus. I am Sukobos. I'm your family wife. How dare you leave? and marry another woman. I don't know you. I don't remember marrying you. You don't need to know me before marrying me. I have every right to be your wife and ensure no other woman in your life. So, so, so you're, you're the one that told Cynthia my dear. Eh, you're the one! Don't you ever mention her as your fiance. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't know you. Leave me alone. <laughs> fool. Be <laughs> fool. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't know you. Leave me alone. Jesus. <laughs> fool. Be fool. You are my husband. We are married. And so, we start having children together. Ah! Jesus! Jesus! How come? Marry spiritually. Is this how my big aunt is living together? I also married spiritually. And he kept stopping the physical marriage. Ha! Ha! How come? How come they beat me spiritually? And I'm seeing it physically. Ha! 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 I'm done. I'm done for. I'm done for. I intentionally decided that we do our talk here so that at least it will give me the privilege to see Brotolu's elder sisters. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my dear brother. Tolu have told us many things about you. Yes. And we are glad to meet you. I don't know the solution you want to provide, but let us tell you some things we have done mm -hmm. and steps we have taken. We have prayed and fasted all manner of fast. Our fufu, our bilibili, eleso, kosele tagbato. In fact, we have worshipped God. Kotuato sibeo, we have gone to so many mountains and valleys. Orioke pele, orioke pao, orioke baba biye, orioke baba lede, kosele tagi. See, you see this our faces. That you are seeing, and this is our head. We have washed you with anointing oil mm. and homie ye. Ah, uh, at the worship. Mm. That is not all. You did not remind him of different seminars we have attended. Mm. We were told to use makeup, make ourselves approachable, and dash ourselves out for men to see. Would you want to reach? Ah, that's this shaggy. I really, really feel for you, Max. Thank you. Everything you have said. It's good, but not all can ascertain deliverance. Mm -hmm. You see, the kind of spirit that you are battling with does not know powder, does not know medicine, mm -hmm. does not know anointing oil. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, even if you don't fast rightly, it may not even affect them at all. There are rules of engagement that we need. 
utmost revelation to know about this place. Yes, Brother John, I am fully persuaded that I am a spirit wife. Because I don't know when spirits start to marry humans. That is the work of the devil. The devil hates godly marriage. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want anybody to marry at all. Yes, so well, he doesn't want mm -hmm. it. And what you are currently working on is even to know the cause. How do one get spirit spouse? And how do one engage it? Do you all believe God? Yes. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes, sir. I know many all and sundry prophets and pastors have said diverse things to you. They have given you several solutions in the name of Jesus. And it looks like this ticket to the calling. Irresponsible men comes. The woman comes and go. The responsible ones come. But do you believe in Jesus? Yes. Do you believe that Jesus was made manifest so that he might destroy the works of the devil? Then, let's all rise and pray. You see, the kind of prayers we want to pray are not normal prayers. They are warfare prayers. You cannot pray this kind of prayer with all your faith and all your strength and not see results. The result might be some dreams. Let's shout this loud and clear. Every soul tie. Every soul tie. Connecting me to spirit husband or wife. Connecting me to spirit husband or wife. Every soul tie. Every soul tie. Connecting me to spirit husband or wife. Connecting me to spirit husband. I break. I break. I break. I break. Begin to pray. Break, break. Every soul tie. Connecting me to spirit. Why? I break in the name of Jesus Christ. Every soul tie connecting me to spirit. Why? I break in the name. In Jesus' name we pray. Every power. Every power. Pretending to be my husband or wife. Pretending to be my husband. In the dream. In the dream. Mm. You know, we have the impersonator spirits. They come to impersonate. Every power. Every power. Every demon. Every, demon, every, spirit, every spirit. Pretending to be my husband or wife. Pretending to be my husband. In the dream. In the dream. Da! Pray in Jesus' name. Every spirit wife, every spirit pretending to be my wife in the dream, die in the mighty name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The truth is, there are many singles with spiritual spouses and they don't know. These spiritual spouses will be so unconscious, waiting for them when they get to the junction of marriage. But I don't want to encounter this wicked demons. Exactly. Exactly what we are going to be discussing next. It is then people will know if they are at a risk of spiritual spouses or not. <laughs> But I know God sent me here because it's obvious I have an assignment in this room. What assignment? Sister Anna. Sister Dokas. What are you doing here? You are not supposed to be seen here. How dare you? How dare you tell my wife that they should not be with their one and only husband? My wife is here. Are they married to you? You must be blind. Can't you see the wedding rings in their hands? But how did they get married to you? Are they even aware at all? Because you see these ones, they are not happy marrying you. Take a look at their faces. Do you see any sign of sadness in it? Come on, young boy. I will advise you to return back to where you came from. I, I will go. 
but I want you to answer this question. How did they get married to you? Who conducted the wedding? I am the husband of every female child in this family. Their forefathers engaged in a whole lot of sexual perversion and molestation. And you know what? That got us into this family. And anyway, you see, Incubus, we marry all their female child. This, hope you know they are not married in the physical realm. See, look at their beautiful faces. Men run away from them. They don't get engaged. <laughs> Who told you they are beautiful? We kept their beauty right here. Take a look at what they really look like. What? Who are these? Wow! Those are your beautiful sisters. And this is what the Suto sees in them whenever they make their interest known. We have kept their real beauty here. Yeah. But wait. Will these ones ever be married again? Never. Ah, they can never be married again. Can, don't you see the rings in their hands? Ah. Oh, do you want to show you the wedding seals? Eh, but, hey, but, hey, hey, hey. Ah. Enough of all this nonsense. Go back to where you came from. This is no go area for you. Don't believe anything they told you. Even if they wear what is modern rings, we have a solution for legal access. Ah! How do you know? Did you see anything? Not really. I just have an understanding for um, Incubus and Sukubus. Who? Oh. You know Incubus? You don't know Incubus. Incubus is a sexual male demon. That puts women in bondage of spiritual marriage, making it difficult for them to get married or to even have conception. I have some revelations to me. Later, we'll gather all we have together and possibly distribute ourselves to, you know, prospective and respective persons. Later, when our mom comes back from the VG at the boss place. But, but. Who is there? Please come in. Please be on to this house. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Please have your seat. Thank you. Thank you, ma. God bless you, ma. You're uh, we are the new neighbors. Oh, <laughs> oh, Mommy Collins mentioned it to us when we came back from the village. Okay. And honestly, I tried so much to come and see you. Okay. Oh, I'm a very busy person. Oh, <laughs> you're I welcome. Understand. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. Ma. Well done, ma. Thank yes, you, ma. ma. Yes, ma. So, how is the family? Ah, oh, we thank God. Family is good. We are very fine, ma. Thank okay. you, ma. Thank you for accommodating us. <laughs> You're welcome, ma. Yeah, shake on you, ma. I've actually come to greet you and then to, you know, ask you some questions. And, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Ah, thank you. Thank you, ma. You see, um, I had it from mommy colleagues. And she said, I think your daughter and her friend, that your daughter offended you. And it hurt you so bad, you... You, you you didn't like it. So I felt I should come and apologize on her behalf. Emma Bino, Cherry and Omoy, you see the children of nowadays. Yeah. Offend me. Yes. No. My daughter did not offend me. Ah. Where did you get that from? Really? Yes. Eh. Ah. So why is she now not um eh, Madam? Please, go straight to the point. Ah, okay. Thank you. So why is she not married? I was told that you don't want her to get married. And you've been rejecting all her suitors. Yes. But why? Because she's married. Oh, really? Or is it possible for somebody that is married to marry another person? I know, that's a bad thing. Uh -huh. No, I didn't know she's married. So Buddha is married. Yes. Then why is she running after her other men? Ah, I need to talk to that woman. I need to cancel her. And I need to see her husband too. You cannot see her husband. Mm -hmm. mm. You 
It is only Bora that can see our husband. Uh, is he a spirit that nobody can see? Madam, Ma Chelsea. Please, enough about those questions. You may leave my house now. Ah, I'm happy. Eshe? Thank you. Thank you for accommodating. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Eshe. Okay. Eshe, ma. My regards to you. My progress. Eshe, go. Yes, ma. Okay, go, ma. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's the exact situation. You see, we have different categories of these uh, spiritual spouses. We have the physical one that people can actually see them physically. Yeah, just like this one. It's obvious she's seeing it. It's obvious. We also have the conscious and the unconscious one. You see, the enemy hides them from many singles so that they will not know. Mm -hmm. Because the enemy knows that if they know, they will fight back. Mm -hmm. To me, I think this is the most dangerous category. Because it is what you know that you will fight. Exactly. We have the hmm, spiritual prostitutes. We have the family spirit spouses. We have the hermaphrodite spirits. This one possesses both the male and the female sexual organ. Mm. Dimensions of the, in the dark world. Hey. There are so many issues with these demons. Hmm. Fighting from the from the from the spiritual realm and causing confusion yes. in the physical realm. Yes. Yes. Mom, you see, you have to talk to Wura, possibly in Mrs. Chu's flat. Okay. While you know, Jude will go and talk to to you, the mental manager. Okay. Then Philip and I will talk to their sisters who mm. are also single, looking for marital testimony. That's good. That's, that's good. That's a very good idea. And you see, it's just for understanding. Mm -hmm. Because my poor parents for lack of understanding. Mm -hmm. When they have understanding of what is happening around them, then they'll be able to engage properly. That is it, you're right. Um, by the way, your boss asks of you. I want you to find time to go and see him and encourage him, please. You have started a three days with you already. Really? I do hope that um, God will help me. I will find time to go and sing. Possibly Jude and I or Philip and I can go and check on him. God will help us all. Amen. Mm -hmm. No problem. <laughs> More of the truth, my dear. I think I am ready to face my father. I can yeah. challenge him now. Of course, you have to face him. Even if he's the devil. I'm even prepared to depend on if no one will go with me, I'm ready to go out. Okay? Mm -hmm. Even if you will kill me, I'm ready to die. Trying to make change through faith. You cannot die. He cannot even kill you. You cannot die but live and declare the goodness of God. Um, the door is not locked. Please come in. Well done, sir. Oh, God, listen to in every. It's so good to see you. You're welcome. Philip, how are you? It's been a while. How are you? We thank God. You know, it's been challenges here and there. Yeah. But we thank God because we know that in no time everything will be all right. Let's go. Let's go. Philip, you are gradually resembling Bro John. Um, Bro John's disciple. <laughs> Not the lead disciple, bro. Bro, just everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Actually, I didn't really plan to come today. Okay. But I came because the Holy Spirit sent me to you and your family, especially you, sir. Okay. That's awesome. Please, go ahead, share. You see, the Holy Spirit uh, spoke to me in Dictaronomy, chapter 31, verse 6. And it says, Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not. Not be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. Mm. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Mm. Permit me to add this project in Isaiah 41, 15. And it says, For I, the Lord God, 
we hold the right hand saying, Fear not, mm. for I we help thee. Mm. Men of God indeed. In fact, God sent you to us because there's an issue we've been facing in this family. Mm. It's just what we were just discussing. You need not be afraid of them. Because if you are afraid of them, their faith is strengthened to defeat you. But like the righteous, if you are as bold as lion, your boldness will kick out their faith and then fear will come to them. Wow! That is deep, bro, John. Can you imagine? I must sincerely tell you, since the vigil and prayer session started, my faith has gone up high. And I must use this opportunity to say thank you to you and your family. Thank You've you. You've been there for us. God mm -hmm. bless you, Ringo. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Show me a faithless and a fearful Christian. Mm. Then I will show you a prayerless Christian. Mm. Exactly. Mm. You see, there are times you do we have fears and bodies. But when you exactly and directly go to God, you will see the morale and faith that will come, even when the challenges stare at you. Mm. Yeah. When the challenges stare at you, you have a morale that comes up. Your presence has always been a blessing to us. Thank you. We thank God. And you see, sir, okay. there's nothing to be afraid of. Mm. Mm. Faith is an important tool to winning any battle in life, mm. not just prayer. Mm. When you pray without faith, it's like having a gun without a bullet. Mm. Did you get that? Yes. Gone without a bullet. Yes. Mm. Bro, John, thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. God bless you. You're good for us. Um, please, uh, if you have the opportunity once in a while, just show up at the company. Okay? Even if you just to say hi. <laughs> God is helping us. Amen. Uh, uh, Mark, can we get them something to drink? Please subscribe. Are you okay? Why this unhappy face? Uh, come, 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 come. Come. Come, come, let's talk. Come. Mom. Come here. I think God is selfish. He's been so sentimental about the people in the house. Why would you say that? Wait, come, come. Come and sit. Sit first. Sit here. Collins, why would you say that? God is selfish or sentimental. 
Um, there are some people he has chosen to use because he loved them. And he has invested a lot of power on them without even doing anything. Yet some will fast, pray, study, and we have no power of grace at all. Collins. Why would you say that? I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. Uh, look at David. David, you called him a man after his heart. The same David. Mm -hmm. uh, and the same pure Jesus, Jesus Christ, also came out from the family line. Uh, uh, look at Samson. He died with his enemies. Hmm. Collins, are you studying the Bible to be able to pick out God's errors or mistakes? Mom, no. No. Look at Bro John. Look at Philip and Jude. God has been using them. But they are only lucky, mom. They are only lucky because God has been silent on me. I don't even know. Maybe I'm growing, mom. I don't know. Holy. Don't see that. Listen. <laughs> grace doesn't just jump on people. It doesn't just drop. Even this grace attracts only those who align themselves with the systems of God. Mom. There's nothing special that I think they do. Nothing. There's nothing mm -hmm. special. Believe me, God just loves some people that know that. He loves some people that know that. But I'm not saying some people. I'm just trying to say this to fight against God. But I just want to grow like Brother John. I want God to use me too. God will use you. <laughs> the first thing you're getting right is that there's the hunger for it. <sighs> so since there's the hunger, don't worry. All that things will align. You know what I'll do? I will speak to God, John. I will ask him to help you and possibly mentor you. I mean, please do. Please do. I will. I don't even know. Maybe there's any method they are using to pray that I did not know. No, oh, I'm fed up. Don't be fed up. Don't be fed up. Okay? You will go. Yeah? Colin. Colin, you, you will go. Eh? There's no way what to demonstrate God's kingdom without power. Mm. Power is needed to be able to take over kingdoms to pull down stronghold of darkness. Mm -hmm. We're going to pray. My Lord Jesus. My, my Lord Jesus. Give me the spirit of power. Give, give me the spirit of power. To be able to demonstrate your kingdom. To, to demonstrate the kingdom. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. Father Lord, 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 Lord Jesus. Give me the with power. power. Let it be power. The power. Of power. power. To demonstrate power. Everywhere I go. To demonstrate the dimension of your kingdom. Anywhere I go. That's when I appear. Anywhere I demonstrate your kingdom. According to Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 29, mm -hmm. it says, It is what not like fire, mm -hmm. or like a hammer that breaks rock into pieces. <laughs> Let's tell it to God. Lord, make your word in my mouth like fire, and let it be a hammer that breaks walk into pieces, pray and the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your word in my mouth, 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 let your word in my we have to pray. You will say, you stronghold of fear. You stronghold of fear. Release me now by fire. Release me now by fire. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We will not let him go. Release me by fire. Release me by fire. In the name of Jesus. We will not let him go. Release me now by fire. Why are you threatening me? Richard. I'm not threatening you, Dad. Then who is threatening me? I don't know. But I am being threatened. Where is the fear I planted? How does, how does that supposed to be my problem? Maybe somebody came and plugged it out. I don't know. Then who must that be? 
I don't know. Then what must I do? I don't know. What exactly do you know? Nothing. I know nothing. Then it means there is nothing you can ever do that can threaten me. I can't say, sir. Then you remain silent for the rest of your life or I silence you. No, you can't. No. No. I'm not silent, Jesus. Honey? Hmm? What's happening? Huh? I saw my dad. Okay. He said I was threatening him. Tell me more. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you. That is a very good dream and revelation. Mm. The truth is that your father has attacked you all mm. with a spirit of fear. Mm. For all of you to just be afraid of him, it's not normal. Mm. It's not natural. Not at all. Mm. I can tell, ma. Mm. It is so natural. Mm. You can imagine, even at this age, mm. we are still so afraid of him. Mm. 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 He's actually tormenting you with the spirit of fear. Mm. Because he knows if the fear is not there, mm. all of you will rise up to fight him. Mm. For whatever predicament he has placed on you. Mm. Mm. So, Ma, what is happening now, Ma? The spirit of fear that he planted in me has vanished. Ah, from you. And it has returned to the sender. Wow. Back to sender. Thank it you, has Jesus. returned to the sender. Mm. And as we speak now, the spirit of fear is tormenting him. Hmm. Yes. And he's just afraid now as you speak. For whatever reason, he can't even figure out. Hallelujah. Mm. That is very true. Mm. I refuse to be locked down by fear. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You see, fear is a torment. And it is one of the ways that the devil uses to incapacitate believers. Mm. But when fear disappears, faith and confidence will come. Hmm. That is true. See, I can't wait to face my father. Wow. I have the boldness now. I can't wait to face him after several years. <laughs> yes, oh, you will. You will. Mm -hmm. You need to face him. After this prayer, you will face him. Mm -hmm. And um, for now, I will leave you with God. Mm -hmm. Please, take note of everything we have discussed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ma. Thank you thank so God. much. Thank God. Thank you, Ma. Thank God. Hello? Have you seen the picture I sent to you? I don't want mistake. Get him. Kidnapping. Kill him. I don't need his body. But put his blood in a calabash and bring it. I will also need videos of his last moment fighting for life. You know, it will be a good video to watch. Fast one, guys. If yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God bless you, sir. God, God bless you, sir. God, God bless you, sir. It is well with you, sir. Mm. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. It is well with you, sir. I'm really so sorry, sir. I am sorry, sir. Please see if you can help me. God bless you, sir. I'm just, you know, you just pick me from my car into your car. I know you have a place you are taking me to. Just want to know. Hey, hey, driving for the past four hours. Hey, just help me. Sorry, sir. It, it's your own. Ah, well, I can't struggle. It's your own, sir. It, it's it's yeah, your own. Peter, 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 Peter. Peter, Peter. 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 It's your own, sir. You can have the phone. Ah, what am I? It's not my own, it's your own, sir. It's your own. Just, just tell me. At least let me know something. Please, the reason why we're here. Please, just tell me. And shh. We are assassins. Hey! Why are you to kill you? 
<laughs> I think that it's uh, everybody, sir. <laughs> I did not offend anybody. Then, as you're looking at me, I go smooth. You are sure you don't have any issue with anyone? Ah! My life! Hmm. I don't, sir. I'm a peacemaker. I'm a gentle boy. He doesn't have issues. Please, sir. You have an issue with a peace hater and a trouble finder. Ah! Hmm. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, <laughs> see. So, oh, 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 look at me. I'm a gentle boy. I don't struggle with anybody. Very gentle as you're looking at me. Please, oh, go. Shh. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. It is done. Give him the form. Mm. Take it. For me, sir. Take it. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. How are you, Richard? I'm very fine. They are very gentle. They did not touch me. <laughs> fine, sir. I hope you recognize the voice. Uh, fine, sir. Yes, sir. Very well, sir. How many minutes would you need to say your last prayer? What is your name? The kingdom come. Shut up! What is that you are saying? What you said I should say, this, sir. The last prayer. I said, how many minutes will it take you to say your last prayer? Because I'm um, calling. But that day, what, what have I done? Eh? What have I done, sir? What have I done? One more question, and you will have no last prayer. For the last time, I said, how many minutes would you need to say your last prayer? Okay, sir. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll wash it, sir. I'll, I'll finish very fast, sir. In two hours, sir. I'll finish in two hours, sir. Return the phone. Uh, for you, sir. Give him to the end of the day. Oh. Then do the job. Don't forget the video. Okay. You have been given to the rest of the day. Say your last prayers. Use it wisely. We have gotten full revelation mm. about how we can decipher and know this issue of issues and sickness. It has been a serious issue and it has caused a lot of setbacks to the life of men. So we have gotten full revelation under God. To know how to resolve it. Ah, thank you so much, sir. We can't really wait. If you don't know how this sexual demons got into your life, then you will not know what to engage to get rid of them. The exact reason why a lot of people have converted deliverance upon deliverance, fasting upon fasting, is really because they are not firing the right bullet. Exactly. They are praying off track. So you need to know how that goes. How they came into your life. You need to go and diagnose how they came and started operating in your life before you now know how to diagnose them. You see, they are very aggressive spirits, so wicked and stupid. And they put married to the perfect hatred. Now, how do you get to contact with this woman? Number one, through sexual things and perversion. Through Masturbation and other. So these things are the breeding grounds. And after that, when it begins to grow in a sexual appetite or sexual immorality. I don't think I fall into any of this category because I'm a virgin and I've never had a girlfriend. How come sexual immorality with any? Let's continue. It's possible you see any of your situation that brought them into your life. You see, when a man sleeps with a prostitute, for instance, all the demons that you know are around the life of that man begins to come back to the prostitute and vice versa. It's just when a man also sleeps with a prostitute that has a special spouse, this special spouse becomes very jealous 
and they begin to fight the man automatically. Exactly. Just like the revelation that you saw. I saw that man. He said he was married to the both of your sisters. Hmm. Our case is more of a blood man through the mistakes of our father. Another means a true family spiritual spouses. You know, they attach themselves to some families, possibly by reason of what their fathers have done long ago. They attach themselves with these families and then they become the bloodline spiritual spouses of that family. And it of course, if one person in that family, possibly their good grandfather, was involved in you know rape, molestation, uh, you know spiritual or human sacrifices. I think this is referring to us because we've heard in the past that our father and grandfather were involved in witchcraft and they even prepared powers for people and even molested young females mm -hmm. to the extent that our father was caught and embarrassed for it. Mm -hmm. We also heard that when we were young, he would take us to his cult and supposedly pray for us in order to prepare us and empower us for the future. Maybe it was one of those encounters that he innocently betrayed you to this spiritual spouse. You see, when we talk about bloodline, it is just one particular spiritual spouse that marries all of them. It's so revelatory. It means many single from their history already have spiritual spouse. See, a larger percentage of them had your conscious one. You see, many of the good dreams that guys have, not all of them are over the time. Mm. There are some of them that are the result of the sex and in the dream. There are some women also that wake up very weak and they find out they are female of their body. All these things are signs. Another major way people attract special spouses into their life is through their dressing. Some single ladies dress half naked. You see them all around the street. They open their cleavages, wear short skirts, you know, do a lot of things, all in the name of fashion. Not knowing that the same way the physical heaven and the physical man can be attracted to this set of people, is the same way this spiritual husband can be attracted to them to the point of getting tangled. <sighs> Jesus, have mercy on me. Yeah. Not just that. Nowadays, when you go to social media, TikTok to be precise. Ah, <laughs> you see a lot of them dancing lustfully, showing and exposing themselves. All those things do not only attract opposite sex, but sexual demons as well. In fact, on TikTok, you see, just to buttress your feeling, you see some new challenges that come. They do this challenge, they dance naked, you see the shadow of no, any challenge that come that can show their body dance and they do that freely on TikTok. They think they are blowing on TikTok, not knowing that they are attracting special spouses to their lives. You see, because they like seeing naked bodies, so not every body that you see is actually real. So when you see anybody dressing up naked anywhere and you just sleep with them, you might have encountered special spouses. How then do one diagnose the presence of spiritual spouses? It is when there is a very, very low degree in mind and conception. You see, those spirits, they do not want to want to get married. And eventually, if you get married, they will make sure there is a feeling for giving them. Hmm. The spirits are um, very aggressive and destructive. In the Bible, when Jesus drove out many demons, they could not just go anywhere because they needed bodies. So the demons begged Jesus to drive them into the swine. And he did. As soon as he sent them there, those swines began to violently run. About 2,000 of them entered the swine. And you see those demons are still in swines today, looking for the right bodies to enter. You see, all these demonics we're talking about, they are currently in some bodies looking for another body that engage with the system that invite them for them to invade and enter. And at the same time, these special spouses love beautiful things. They like to see beauty. Ah. 
I have lived a very rough life while growing up. I will renounce every to go about all spiritual life in Jesus' name. I am no more interested in any spiritual marriage. Enough is enough. Look, that is the first step in claiming deliverance from the spiritual family. You see, a lot of people, they are married and they love the life they are living. Some people don't even want to live their spiritual family. You see, there are some people that they love their spiritual family. That they don't want to live them at all. So the first thing to do is to renounce them. You see, because unexplainable and unnecessary marriage postponement, they shake away all your virtues. They draw out and dry up all the power and the presence of God in one's life. Because late or not married at all. Profiteers at work and marital convictions are so gone. How then do we engage? It is by confessing all one sin to God and engaging the world. And most importantly, you must renounce those spiritual spouses, although it would cause a spiritual fight. But necessary. Now we are going to shout this loud and clear. You pray in holy anger. Are you not angry? No, angry. That's it. You have to be angry about the situation. It's not a sugar sugar prayer. Every generational spirit husband of my bloodline. Every generational spirit husband of my bloodline. I renounce you. I renounce you. Yeah. 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 Pray that prayer away. Well. Every generational spirit husband in your bloodline, in my bloodline, anywhere, captain in the line. I renounce you. Let's pray like this. Every legal access. Every legal access. That I have allowed knowingly or unknowingly. That I have allowed knowingly or unknowingly. That has brought the presence of these spiritual spouses. That has brought the presence of these spiritual I invoke the blood. I invoke the blood. Every legal access. That I have allowed, knowingly or unknowingly, that has brought the assets of this person into my life. I invoke the blood in the name of Jesus. I invoke the blood as a temple in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I break every soul tie. I break every soul tie. And family tie. And family tie. That is connecting me to spiritual spouses. That is connecting me to spiritual spouses. I break them now. I break them now. Oh, I break them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every soul tie. Every soul tie. Every soul tie. Every soul tie. I break them in the mighty name of Jesus. I break them in the mighty name of Jesus. I break them in the mighty name of Jesus. I For Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Arise and incubate. Arise and incubate me. Arise and incubate me. Arise and incubate me. Against every super spirit. Against every super spirit in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Incubate me. Amen. Now you are going to pray this like this. Put your hand in your ring finger. Every wedding ring. Every wedding ring. Oh, sister, my son, you are not angry. Oh, that thing went very much. Every wedding ring, every wedding ring of this spiritual spouse, of this spiritual spouse that is in my hand, that is in my hand by the power and the blood of Jesus. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I remove it now. 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 You see, Wura, sex is meant to be a physical element and not spiritual element. Mm -hmm. And the reason why devil is so much interested in sex is because when two people engage in sex, they become one. Meanwhile, sex connects 
the spirit and the soul together. Mm. While I was in secondary school and university, mm. I slept with lots of guys. But anytime such happened, my spirit was one appeared so mad at me. Mm. But there is no guy I slept with that has a head ring. Mm. Yes, mm. because the spirit's husband is afflicting them. This is serious. Ah. Mm. My mom told me when I was young that there is this priest that showed interest in marrying me while I was a baby. And when I started growing up, he buy things for me, but it was so weird because he was far older than me. And anytime I go to him to visit, he would take me to his room, mm -hmm. put something on my neck and my hand. Things like what? Like rosaries and pendants. And he wrote something on my face, like powder, saying it makes me look pretty. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm -hmm. Sorry, if I may ask, where is this man now? This priest? He has died. Huh. He died while I was about gaining admission into the university. But since then, I've been seeing him sleeping with me in my dreams. And most times, I see myself breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. Only God knows the kind of covenant your mother has entered with that priest. It is obvious you have spirit children. Yes, he brings them to me sometimes when he visits me. How many children? Seven children. Eh? Eh? Seven! Ah, this is my first time of hearing this. So things like this, they are real? Yes, they have an insatiable appetite. Even if you get married to another man physically by force, it will be very difficult for you, that is even if it is possible for you, to have any children physically. Hello? Hello, dear. Where are you now? You got me worried. Eh? Hello? Please. Who am I talking to? I want to talk to Mr. Where, yeah? Yeah! Eh? My, my husband, please help me. Can I talk to him? Hello? Hello? My husband has been kidnapped. <laughs> Where do I go? Where do I go? Guy, ah, bye, chest, 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 oh, chest. Ah, I, boy, you be like, you too much. Ah, I swear, you too much. It's your belly. Charlie, I like George, you call him. Me, me, pick your phone. Ah. Now. Ah. Guy, so now for the other this thing, I'll make sure you come work on that time. I'll be sort of out. Keep it there. Uh, I believe you for now. Yeah, he didn't stop me now. I better make a video for you. Hello, dear. Who is your dear? Is it me or the one already saying his last prayers? <laughs> I want to speak with Mr. Way. Yeah. I am his wife. <laughs> well. Your husband is already in the cave of death and he's already saying his last prayers. So, hey, shut up! 
You better talk to your Jesus. And let me warn you, do not try to invoke the police, or else it goes down. Fuck off my phone. <laughs> 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 Therefore, come boldly to the throne of grace, where we obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Philip's dad said so. He said it's a mobile drone. And it can come to anyone who needs it. Ah. Throne of grace, I need help. Help me. I need this help right now. I just have a few more hours here. Ah, help me. Help me. Ah, help me. Last prayers. Ma, please, do you suspect anybody? No, I don't. Because my husband don't have a problem with anyone. I don't even know who is involved in this. But wait, did they ask for any ransom at all? No, they did not. He only said, my husband is said his last prayer. This time is not on our side. Is it not fair we invert the pieces? No, 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 no. They warned that it will be very risky to do that. Almost 12. So he has two hours to say his last prayers. After two hours, don't hesitate to do your job. You have two more hours to say your last prayers. Use it judiciously. What are you saying? Ah, come on. He's saying his last prayers. Are you blind? Let's go. Uh, please, can you still call the number? Oh, of course. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> It's really good. Hello, sir. Very sorry, sir. I just need to add to the prayers he's making so that his last prayers can be complete. Thanks for giving him time, sir. Please, can you get the phone to him? Someone wants to add to your prayers. Yes, sir. You have just about an hour to go. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Oh, bro, John. Yes, sir. Is this phone on speaker over there? Good. You will be fine, sir. But at this crucial time, trust God. I, I will. Who are you talking about? He's the one. Mm. He's the one. Okay. We'll keep praying for you. What is it, sir? Is there any problem? Nothing much, ma'am. We just need to pray. Huh? And at this time, we need to trust the prophetic. 
the prophetic can change the atmosphere <laughs> over there since we don't want to avoid the police. Please, sir. Angels are messengers. Therefore, I send the angels of the Lord to wherever this man is for divine protection in the name of Jesus. Ah, this woman, Ronke, you shall not become a widow. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, I pray, change the climate of the environment right now. The spiritual climate, the physical climate of the environment. Father, change it now, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh. Uh. It's time. Throne of grace, throne of grace. This is when I need you. Throne of grace. Throne of grace, I need you now. I need you now, throne of grace. Shut up. Is it part of the last bell? What do you say? Throne of grace. Mm. See, you've had your times. God, we ask and pray that you are going to be somebody to come and have to Send my husband on the weekend! Oh, God! 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 Asking and seeking and knocking. I think you want to talk to me. I think my husband wants to talk to me. Is that your number? Yes, sir. Hello? Which walk? What? What is it, Roger? Okay. 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 Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is it, Roger? No, it's, it's no problem. We just have to continue praying. Uh -huh. We have to continue to pray. We must not be distracted. Oh, Let the prophetic oh, go to that place now and begin to turn the situation around. Now, let's pray. Jesus. That the prophetic begin to go there and change things around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We send the prophetic oh, In Jesus' name, we pray. You see? You have to continue praying now. Mm -hmm. I have to attend to something. Yes, sir. So, no. 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 This is too much. This is too much. For what offense? For what offense? Am I weeping? What was it? Why are you guys so problem? Everything is fine. No, no, no. You can't sit here and tell me everything is fine. When obviously nothing looks fine here. Roger, this is not my brother. Roger, what happened? What's the meaning? I am weak, Philly. I am weak. Mr. Richard is dead. Ah! The king did and he sent the video of his last moment. Jesus! 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 What is it for you? Jesus!
<laughs> very good. That was a very good job. Well done. I really don't understand the thing he was saying when he was dying. He kept talking about one throne of grace and all that crap. Mm. That was the major point of his prayer. He kept mentioning throne of grace, throne of grace. Well, that's all right. Since you have his blood here, that's all. Have you seen your balance? Mm. Yes, sir. We will see the telling. You may dismiss. We will see later. Okay, boss. Yes, <laughs> good. Very good. This is the blood of my son. The very fresh blood of Richard. Richard! 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 This is the throne of grace. He has cried for mercy and help. So, you cannot use his blood because it has become my blood. Please, please, don't go. Don't go, I cannot see. Who are you? What is the throne of grace? I say, who are you? Pick your call. Don't touch my son. Pick your call. Hello, Rainbow. Why are you not picking your call? Ah, what is that? Did you kill him? I don't want you to kill him. If anything happened to my son, you will dearly pay for it. Prophetic, eh? They are coming. They are coming again. Who are they? Yes. Hello. The throne of grace. Congratulations. That's beautiful. Is it not better that you come home first before you go so that you can rest? Oh, okay. Be with you. Bye, sir. Bojong, how is he? How is my husband? The throne of grace showed in mercy. Oh! Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, God, thank you. We are here to see. I am Richard Away. I'm here to see my father. I will not let you in. I will advise you to go back to where you're coming from. Are you deaf? I said I'm here to see my father. You can't enter. Just go back to where you're coming from. Simple. I, I think you don't know who you're talking to. I said I'm here to see my father. No, God, I don't want problem. Please go back to where you're coming from. You can't, you can't. You can't. Get up, get up, get off, get off. Ah, what, 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 what rubbish is that? Mr. Swat away, eh? Come back here. Come back here. Richard, I, I thought... You thought I was dead, right? Eh? You thought I was dead. I saw your plans. But here I am. I'm alive. You are the one who deserves to die. Son, you talk to me like that? You know who I am? I'm a liar. And so? No, tell me I'm so. I will say to you whatever I like. I talk to you the way I like. I have visited the throne of grace. I'm not afraid of death. I can say whatever I like to you. Throne of grace? What does that mean? Oh, you put everyone in bondage. We are struggling, your children, we are struggling. We destroy others. 
yet you rebuild them and you think nobody will face you i am here today to confront you smart i am here to confront you so you call me by name i'm your father you from where to where i don't have a father i'm an orphan i only have a grandfather maybe you don't know you are not seeing any son here I'm a representative of Zion and my work here is to bring you to judgment to bring your disobedience and your, your, your wrongdoings to, to, to judgment Ha! Ah. I'm on my knee Please Richard your word is like a dagger in my heart I am threatened by your presence It's because you cannot see You are blind Look around you I'm here with a battalion of angels to bring your disobedience to judgment today. I'm on my knee. Richard, please. You don't have a choice? No, you don't have any choice. You have to kneel down because I have knelt before the throne of grace. Throne of grace? Tell me about the throne of grace. You must kneel before me. All my enemies must kneel before me. Richard, you called the police on me? He asked me about the throne of grace. That is why I'm here. Talk to me about this throne of grace. Before you talk to me about this throne of grace, I have seen many thrones. I have seen many altars. And I have touched many kingdoms. I promise you, you've never seen or heard of a throne like this before. It is a throne that has no hand. It is a throne of emergency for all and sundry. If the throne could challenge me, it means it's the highest throne. And I need it. I want to visit it. It is a throne for the ungodly. It is a throne that helps all those people who have been innocently thrown into demonic covenant. For them, it is a throne of refuge. I have never felt this way in my life. I feel empty and scared of my life. Please lead me to this throne. I will lead you to Christ. Then you will lead yourself to the throne of grace. Please kneel down and repeat after me. I am ready. Lord Jesus. My Lord Jesus. I'm sorry for my wicked ways. I'm sorry for my wicked ways. I've committed a lot of atrocities. I have done a lot of atrocities. Please have mercy upon me. Please have mercy on me. Please wash me with your blood. Wash me with your precious blood. And set me free. And set me free. Amen. Amen. Please get up, sir. I've led you to Christ. That is the way to the throne of grace. Mr. Richard! Mr. Richard! Mr. Richard! Oh my god! Hey, let, let's, let's, let's take him to the hospital. D don't worry, sir. Uh, just leave him. I know he cannot make it. You have led him to Christ, right? Just allow him to rest. Let him die this way. Let him rest in peace. Thank you, sir. Collins, your room told us of how you feel God is sentimental on how he uses people, on how he decides to use some people and decide not to use some people. Is it not obvious? You are very lucky. You people go out there to deliver the oppressed. People love you, but as for me, I feel rejected and ignored by God. Don't you ever say that again, Collins. Nothing just happens in this kingdom. Nobody is lucky. There are prizes, there are hidden sacrifices that many people don't see. All they see is the glory and then they will say, eh, those people are very lucky. 
Nobody sees you on the dressing floor. Mm -hmm. In fact, the father only rewards the secret investment of his children. Colin, then, if I may ask, what do you really want? I want God to use me. I want to grow spiritually. I want to be called here and there for the cause of the kingdom. Uh -uh. Don't you see how God is using you? Everybody is just calling. You are busy for God. Colin, what are you waiting for? Is this desire born out of the deep love for God and His people? Is it born out of how God will be revealed and glorified? Are you sure it's not because you enjoy and desire the fantasy and admiration you see behind the people who God is using? Is it not the calling there and dear and the feeling of relevance? Because if these are your reasons, your dreams and vision, even though good, they are dead on arrival. You see, every good thing you see, they are sacrifices and scars on the threshing floor. <sighs> Sincerely speaking, I'm short of words. I feel instructed, but please, what can I do? Be a seeker. A seeker of God's presence. An undying hunger to love God. And an unbreakable relationship with Him. Not for bread, not for ministry, and even not to work for him, but to work with him. And you will see the dimensions it will bring out of your life. If you see, Collins, anything that you hunger and desire to do for God, that is not laid on the foundation of your love for God and for his people, and is not also laid on how God will be revealed and glorified, is lost and carnality. Thank you very much. I will focus a new direction to focus on me and see what you will do to me. Hello? <laughs> Young ministers, I've actually been instructed on you guys. Yeah, I love your summer. Very good summer. But you see, uh, Collins, let me leave you with something. And that is in the book of Abba Kopt Katu Resman. And I'm going to stand upon my watch and set me on the tower and watch to see what he will say unto me. It is only what he said to us that we're wrong and we can only hear what he will say when we stand upon our watch setting our gaze upon him. Hey! Good job. <laughs> Sincerely speaking, you are an inspiration. See how you pick the verse without even planning for it. Collins is my study life. <laughs> the Bible says in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, it says this book of the Lord shall not depart out of my mouth, but I shall meditate here in day and night. That I may observe to do according to what that is written there. For then thou shalt make my prosperous and establish success. Kai, Rojo, I want to be like you. But can you let me be like this? It is well. Come on, guys. Um, let's prepare with our prayers tonight. Please, can I join you guys? Of course, you are welcome. For in Jesus' mighty name have we prayed. Amen. We are going to pray that we break off from every spiritual marriage that we have been tied with through bloodline in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We break up every spiritual marriage that we have been tied with. We break up in the name of Jesus. We break up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brother said, it's all rings in our hands in that vision. We must break that thing. Yes. Marriage is meant for physical elements. Sex is meant for physical elements. Yes. So we are going to pray. Yes. Every spiritual marriage mm. that have tied us down in bondage, mm. making it impossible for us to settle maritime. Mm. We are going to pray now. That we are breaking physically. We are divorced. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every marriage that we are going Jesus, any 
succubus uh, or spiritual life in learning me from marrying, scaring away every woman in my life. I say, for down and die in the name of Jesus. For down and die. For down and die in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual wife, every spiritual wife in dreaming from Mary. Scaring away your sister. For down, for down, for down, for down, for down, for down. For down, for down. I come unto you with the power of the blood. Lose your own over my life. Lose your grief over my life. You put down down now. You fall down and die now. You fall down and die now. I come unto you with the power of the blood. You fall down and die now. Lose your hood over my life. You understand that many people are praying in several quarters. People praying for themselves as we are also praying for a group of people here. But then we cannot alleviate in the realm of the spirit if we don't click into the angelic manifestations. That is the work of our ministry angels. The Bible says they are our ministers. And so therefore we want to begin to decree and declare, to tap into the ministry of angels, to begin to begin to visit people, begin to go right into their situations and sort them out. We we'll shout this loud and clear. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. That my angels, that my angels, my minister angels, my, my minister, minister angels, angels, begin to go around the situations of people now. Begin to go around the situations of people now and begin to answer, begin to bring results. And begin to answer. Let's pray in Jesus' name. Let our ministry angels begin to go. We pray for the ministry of angels. Ministry of angels begin to go. We call for the ministry of angels now. Over the situations of men. In the mighty name of Jesus. So we pray. Amen. We pray again. We call forth the ministry of angels. 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 We the ministry of angels. And we we'll send them forth. And we we'll send them forth. We call forth the ministry of angels. We call forth the ministry of angels. We call forth the ministry of angels. And we we'll send them forth now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we call forth the ministry of angels. Oh, you know Jesus is our deliverer. Yes. Let's tell it to God. The own God. God. Those that are looking on to us, those that are looking on to us, and people we are praying for, let them not be disappointed. Pray in their mighty name, in the mighty name of the Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord, 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 in the mighty name we begin to now we learn to begin to war in tongues. Whatever the way the spirit directs you, without will pray out tongues, but I'm led a war in tongues. Because tongues is a language of the spirit. Because also know that even everybody who are watching and seeing us also are warring in tongues. Let's begin to go ratele ke de bo sha talabasha rakatele de bo sha ke sa la bo sha rakatele de bo sha ke sa la bo sha rakatele de bo sha ke sa la bo sha rakatele de bo sha ke sa la bo sha rakatele de bo sha ke sa la bo sha rakatele de bo sha ke sa la bo sha rakatele de bo sha ke sa la bo sha rakatele de 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 bo sha Yes. Hey, hey, Kubos. Hey, Kubos. What is the problem? My keeper, can you imagine? They said they are no longer interested in me. They want to divorce me and the kids together. Yes. yes. They have kids for you and they want kids. What? Or do you want me to bring them for you? Hey, Kubos. Do not disturb yourself. You didn't beg to marry them. Their forefathers paid allegiance that attracted you into their lineage. So, if they are no longer interested, you've got no business with them, let them go and ask their forefathers. You have all the rights in this world and beyond to stay. Yes. Can you hear that yourself? Now tell me, how can you decide to opt out from this forever binding relationship? What? Forever? Yes! To get! But as a matter of fact, the death is not certain to be forever. Yes! To death! To death? How dare you? Are you crazy? We overcome you by the blood! Yes! 
Now, now, listen. Let me tell you this. There is a legal binding against you. You go nowhere. What are you trying to do? You want to break out of legal binding that has been in existence even before your great grandfathers were born. No way. So stay calm and enjoy your marriage. Listen to me. Marriage is only meant for physical elements. And so we renounce you in Jesus' name. Listen, it is written that for thy maker is thy husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. The God of Israel and the Redeemer is your God. <laughs> it is legal and it is binding. Even you, Jesus, cannot break you out of this. Because your Jesus knows it's binding. So keep calm and enjoy your marriage. Jesus has no boundaries. No, it is unshortened that he cannot save you. His blood has removed every boundaries. His death and resurrection has broken every barrier. They are my lawful captives. They belong to me. There is an arrangement for that. An arrangement that we always deliver those who are normally should be bound by the reason or the mistake that they have done. But then they can still be delivered. What do you mean? Shy the prey. Be taken away from the mighty, or shall the lawful captives be delivered? That was the question. And there is an answer. The answer is also in the Bible. It said, even the captives of the mighty shall be delivered, and the prey of the terrible shall be taken away. He said, for I will contend with them that contend with me, and I will save thy children. Ah! Keep up. What is going on? Keeper of the sacrifice. What is going on? Give my sacrifice a voice. You cannot separate them. They are bound by sacrifice and it is valid. By who? By you? No. The Bible says what God has joined together. Let no man put asunder. And in other words, it means what man has joined together, what demons has joined together, God can put asunder. And so therefore, I stand upon the most surest prophecy of the word of God. I decree and declare that whatever relationship, whatever covenant, whether marriage or what have you, that has not been joined by God, that was joined by man, I break it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ah! Ah! No! No! Suku boss, what brought you to me? I am threatened. Suku boss, will you go straight to the pot? I am not in the right mood. My husband of 35 years is asking for divorce and I am being threatened. And what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do about that? What? Don't I have a wedding certificate here with you? Don't I have all the marriage documents here with you? Including the mode of engagement. How then do you know if this one have gotten the truth? Am I not an unconscious succubus that I've been eating for long without him knowing? And why do you have to reveal yourself to his fiancé? I did it. It was the spirit of revelation that did it. Tell me, who dare stop the spirit of revelation to reveal the hidden dark things unto them? Then ask him. So, are you saying that I should give up and let him go? No, no, no. He is my husband. I love him. He is my lawful captive. Okay, suit yourself. But be aware that one lawful captive just got delivered from the angels. Give me my records. Mm. I'm not doing it again. No marrying you again. I don't need to explain it to her. <laughs> Will you keep short and go ask your forefathers who married you? My keeper. The idiot said he's no more interested. I am not joking. Marriage is instituted by God. 
for two physical elements, not for spirit and being. If you say one more word there, I will beat you mercilessly. Jesus, come and deliver me from this terrible being. I invoke the blood of the eternal covenant that speaks better things in Jesus. Shut, shut, shut up. What nonsense. What is wrong with you? Are you blindfolded? Are you deaf and dumb? Has your, has, your, has your mind gone away from you? Can't you see the boundary? Can't you see the handwriting and the records of our relationship? Because there has been handwriting that has been written even before we were born. Don't forget the Bible says he has blocked out every handwriting of ordinances that was against us. The work contrary to us and he will take it out of our way. So I command every handwriting to fall in Jesus name. See, we are not a generation that has come to negotiate. We are not fighting for victory. We are working in victory. Blotolu, make your declarations. I am out of this relationship in Jesus' name. I renounce you. For God's sake, you will continue those who continue. You. Yes. I, I receive my freedom. Amen. For God's sake, I will contend against those who contend against oh, you. Oh, yes. I receive my freedom in Jesus' name. Amen. No. Yes. For God has said yes. No man or principality can say no. I am free. My keeper is leaving me for another woman. <laughs> Um, don't worry. Um, what can I do? You can see they came with full knowledge of revelation. If he wants to leave you, let him go. After all, you will find another man. There are still a lot of them playing around with the system that made you. Please subscribe. You see, the prayer I had with our neighbor yesterday was so nice. <laughs> I just hope we continue to have this kind of prayer every day. So you can now see that God is not selfish no, or no. sentimental, or is he? <laughs> no, no, no. You see, it is our availability that determines what we become in his presence. Hmm. <laughs> and if all God did for me was to deliver me, then it's worth it. Exactly, my son. Yes, ma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, hello, Brotolu. Hello, Brotolu, are you there? Hmm? Oh, me. Hello, Cynthia. Good morning. Oh, oh, oh. I guess you're sleeping. Please, I'll call you back. Sleeping, care. Oh, sleeping in broad daylight. I am awake. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm also good. By God's grace. Okay. Anyways, not to waste your time. Mm. I just want to tell you that if your conviction to still marry me still stand, I'm fully available now. Jesus, is this stand though? Is this stand? Nothing can change it. I, I am fully available. But, Cynthia, what happened? And then told me that you are no more with any other woman. So while I'm still here waiting for you. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Today is my happiest day. Please, when can we meet to toast to this renewed friendship? I'm available at any time. Alright, take care, love. I love you. Eh? Love you too. Eh? Eh? Sister says she loves me. She says she loves me. Hallelujah, my baby loves me. Hallelujah, my baby loves me. Hallelujah. Anna, the phone is ringing. Oh, I'm coming. Why are you not picking your phone? E? It's a E? How can
can he be of one set of Oh, Rock already. Pick his call now. Let's hear him out. Pick it. Okay. Give me his sister. Hello? Hello, Hannah. Yes. What is it? Uh, I'm sorry to waste your time, but please I need to speak to you. I'm sorry. I'm not available. I understand you must be very busy, but please, if you can take out of your busy schedule, just give me some time. I promise not to waste your time. Listen, my time is too precious, and I don't just waste it on mere men, but kids. Is that it? You know what? I promise to be flexible to your schedule. If you can just take some time out, please, please, I really need to speak to you. I'll think about it. I will keep you posted. All right. Thank you very much. Anna, take it easy with him. You know we are the one under bond date. Hear him out first. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting you so fast. You see, that is one thing about um, long overdue miracle, locked up by the devil. Once the door is open like this, everything begins to happen. But in any ways, congratulations. Ah, thank God. <laughs> so, someone will eventually marry me now. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> is this still wild again? Yes, it could be wild sometimes. I don't to ask people that they come. Soon, only that we still need a revelation about the prince he keeps mentioning so that we will not just come into this presence and be doing drama. So, what do you think about it? God will be a real person. Amen. I believe that since he has done that, I'll be my own church by taking care of him. Mm. And fine. Thank you very much. I'm so sorry for everything I've done to you, Hannah. See, don't stress yourself. You don't have to beg me. Just go ahead and say whatever it is you have to say. Remember, you promise not to take my time. Yeah, I understand if you have to say that, but still it's important I apologize. I'm really sorry. Well, the reason I called for this meeting was to tell you that I... That you are getting married. What else? Please, Next. can you just let me finish? Okay. Next. Well, what I wanted to say is that I'm back. I'm now ready to get married to you if you will still have me. Wait. <laughs> you are such a funny guy. No, just wait. Are you joking right now? Are you being serious at all? I'm very serious, my dear. Mm. I mean, I now know that I'm in love with you. The thing is, I don't know what's happened to me, but recently, especially this morning, I just started thinking about you. Mm. My heart started yearning. Keep shot! Come on, keep shot, you are a liar. You are a fool. You are wicked. In fact, you are not okay. I know, yeah? Wait, what did you just say? What do you think of me? Did you think you can just joke with me anyhow? Because I'm single doesn't make me a fool. Do you think I don't know that my sister is already coming to your office? You think I don't know that there are sisters that are coming already? Ah, uh, you're wicked. Hannah. I'm not seeing anyone. You need to believe me, I'm not seeing anyone. Look, it's just that whenever I saw you, you looked like an old lady. What? You know, with a bad body odor. I, I found it very unattractive and disgusting. This is why I had to run away, no other reason. Are you... Wait, are you for real? Okay, okay, fine. So, what, what about now? 
Now you look like an angel, babe. I... You look like someone I want to spend the rest of my life with. <laughs> I'm very serious. Oh, Jesus! It feels <laughs> like I'm seeing you for the very first time. I don't know. What happened? What changed? Thank you, Jesus. God, I... Thank you, Jesus. Okorede. I'm available. Wow! Really? I'm available. Oh, God. I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. I'm happy too. Bro, John. Testimonies are flying everywhere. Indeed, God is great. Hallelujah. Evil men can actually seek revelation mm -hmm. and engage the biblical provisions. Deliverance will be easy. Yes. You see, what the devil actually does is to find out about what God has said about your family, mm -hmm. your ministry, and individual. He then programs the situation, like put them in bondage, mm -hmm. so that eventually what happens to them does not look like what God has said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? So what happens to Wura? Well, for Wura's case, uh, she's not ready to be delivered. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the first step of deliverance is that you must first of all be tired of the situation. You must be aware and must be tired and be ready to be free. It is only then Deliverance can be easy and possible. See, God is great. He is faithful. Testimonies are flying everywhere. But my friends come. He's not yet free from the bondage. Oh. Oh, God will help us. God will help us. Mm. Bro, John. Mommy. I will need to go see my father for a while. At least to see how he's faring. <laughs> That's good. Honestly. <laughs> he's actually good. <laughs> yeah. good. We thank God. That's good, honestly. You see, the role he played. In bringing your boss father to Christ. Oh, no, 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 no. So encouraging. Exactly. It is so, so encouraging. What God cannot do, indeed, I does not mean does not exist. Does exist. Does Come to think of it, eh? Bro, Mike, that was looking for the book of Hebrews. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, it has become a pastor. We thank God. We thank God for everything. Hallelujah. Uh, so, but please, Philip, don't, don't stay long. We will miss you. Mm -hmm. um, I, I won't be long. Just dash in and dash out. We have ministry work to do together. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Minister yes. of God. Of course, yes. He loves my boy. Us. He loves God. my boy. Yeah. We thank God. Calling the He's my boy. Please subscribe. Speak from the heavens and the earth. We all speak. From the heavens and the earth, we hear all oh, speak from the heavens and the earth, we hear all oh, speak to my problems and the problems, we hear my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god my sacrifice is calling you oh god my altar is calling Speak from the heavens and the earth we hear. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth we hear. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth we hear. Oh, speak from your spirit and I will obey my altar is calling you oh God my secret place is calling you 
Sacrifice is called. 